That works really well, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's sad. <laughs> what the fuck? He's gone. Sad. <laughs> Call out, Tagalm, aid me in destroying this heretic. <laughs> 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 He's dead. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I didn't know you were about to drink the water. I wasn't looking at it. Well, it was just because, like, I looked over and it was the same fucking thing you did, I don't know how many sessions ago, that clip that was just, rah, rah, and you did it the exact same way in the same tone. Like, I just. <laughs> what was, what's the name of the call? Oh, yeah, it was you. To you... call to aid me in destroying this heretic. Yeah. I was like, rah, <laughs> I was oh. fucking crazy. I dude, that was a fucking that's so Raven flashback <laughs> that I had right there. It was just uh, and then all of a sudden I go boom, <laughs> and I was teleported to how funny that shit was. And then I got excited uh, about the fact that we're starting and I yelled and it reminded me of that so I was <laughs> referencing that. <laughs> I just did not know you were. I not wasn't. To I wasn't expecting it, and it just it just yeah. snapped. I'm like, that shit funny. I didn't, I didn't, know, you were, I didn't know you were taking a drop on the watering hole. I don't know what time I waited. I don't think it would have been that funny if I didn't catch you out of the corner of your eye, my eye. Just run. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh. we are sad. Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. Our ruffled band of adventurers continue their journey through the island of Esgosi. They are hot on Sin and Captain Silvertooth's trail. Though, with night approaching, the Rift Seekers must find shelter soon. The parasites on the island are watching every step the Rift Seekers take. Will the overwhelming horde of these creatures spell the end of our adventurers? Or will they find a way to overcome? these interesting adversaries. Well, welcome back He's really good. to the Rift Seekers. Sure, go ahead. You you start us off. Go ahead. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Make it energetic. Make it good. But not too loud. Welcome back <laughs> to Fragments of a Lost Home, ladies and gentlemen, and those non-conforming. Thank you for joining us on this fabulous whatever day you're watching it's a tuesday for us we're on session uh 41 right now it is currently still the 30th of praxis on ethos uh last we left off and so that's where we're at now that was probably the most long-winded explanation yeah i was expecting welcome back and then Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Town, everyone. <laughs> the Dark Steel Knight was a subscriber. Yeah. So in his honor, please subscribe. <laughs> please. We need to replace the boomers. Please. Hey, yes. yes. If you please. want a character in this campaign, like, comment, and subscribe right now. Do it. Right now. Do it. I'll put you in. I'll kill you off, but I'll put you <laughs> in. <laughs> I also would consider, no promises, maybe a little smooch on the forehead. And I'll draw your character. But yeah. not for free. <laughs> I have to like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. You have to do all three of those things, and, and then you have then, to join our and Discord. And then you will be put into the consideration. Drawing. Yeah. Yes. Also, be put into the drawing, and then you'll be put in the Discord. Uh, and the then drawing, yeah. And, and yeah, then join the Discord too. Also, you, you have, have to your ring the bell. You have to ring the bell for the notification. Oh, you also, yeah, you do. Punch I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. Punch the fuck out of that notification bell right now. And then you guys get to enter the raffle. Smash that like button on the back. Can we get one billion likes? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck up a gingerbread house just for you. Y'all, we you. should build gingerbread houses. We should. You all. Uh, what? Why am I being We, we, we I should know. live stream it. Because I love yeah. you, Dubbins. We should, okay. We should, do <gasps> team, we should do teams and then li live stream it. That'd be so fun, actually. What? That'd be really fun. We wouldn't be able to do teams. There's an uneven number here. I built gingerbread houses before, and they're not good. It's okay. It's all about the fun. Then he's on. He's on my team. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing tapes. I could Damn. draw all you a really good gingerbread house. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's okay. See, everybody has their skills. Don't they? Yeah. I, I could try and yeah. remember how to three D model a gingerbread house. Let's We're, go. We're, we're the hands on. Yeah. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's your specialty. 
I eat. I I don't care whose hand it's on. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, I'm gonna nibble it a little. What? I'm gonna give it a little nibble. You know, like don't bite the hand because don't bite the hand that feeds you. What happened? Is that what you were referencing? I'm just fucking hungry. You're holding <laughs> I'm just fucking hungry. Me too, buddy. <laughs> you want some chips? Oh, good. Do you- what? I was just making fun of you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was so close. Damn it. So, the dark's too nice. Arc it up more. Oh, fuck. That was so close. Anyway. No, that's, that, yeah. Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everyone. Well, we're, we're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. Gameplay. How many times can we say what intro? Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everyone. Apparently at least four. So. <laughs> this is uh, our fourth try. Hey. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, if, real. if any of these okay. don't pop up in here, blame him. I'll be real Listen. Honestly, honestly, I think, honestly, I think we need all three. Okay. Or four. Well, four now. Rift Seekers. Hi. We are back on the island of Eskosi, the ancient parasitic titan, the corpse of the titan from the Huskworld Mortus, perished on Ethos many centuries ago. You guys are currently near the center of this island, hunting down Sin Isolde and Captain Silvertooth, um, aiding Valen Ahamoth in saving his little brother Karos from the clutches of Captain Silvertooth. Um, so, yes, last we left off, Dara, you planted the heart of the Ironwoods um, between two walls and the horde of the parasites um, descended upon you. Um, they're just about to climb over the shield. You can see the disgusting faces of these creatures. The um, bone, they're made out of bone, so they're more akin to like skeletons, I guess, um, but how I described them previously, which I forgot. But um, they walk on all fours. They look like humanoid figures on all four. Um, they have an amalgamation of skulls like melded or grafted into them. Um, and then their like main skull like face has a jaw that unhinges like twice its size. You can see like two different jaws that will like open up as well. Um, nasty like uh, slobber and spit. You can see drooling from it as they climb over the shield and you can, they can see, you can see them looking at you, um, looking very hungry and just ready to kill. And then the sword of the night swoops overhead, clashing into them, knocking them over, and then he leaps over and you can hear him clashing with the parasites. Um, before uh, leaping over though, he turns uh, to his captain stating, um, I forgot. <laughs> it was something really cool and badass. I forgot. I think he said something along the lines of like, hey, you've sacrificed so much for us and you've taken care of us. Time for me to take care of you, Pookie. And then he jumped over the wall. It was something yeah, I like that. it was something along the lines of repaying his debt. Yeah. Yeah. Something. It was cool as fuck. It was a really badass line and none of us remember it because it was really that. Just go it's back. Been yeah, just go back to the last episode and look at the very last yeah. minute. It has been. It was really long. cool, I yeah. promise you. I, I just swear. forgot and I have too many notes to actually look back through. Here, just add the clip right here. <laughs> Put it in. Wow. Welcome back to Fragments <laughs> of Lost Home, <Homer. laughs> <laughs> Okay. So. so. The knight is clashing with the parasites. Manon had twisted her ankle, uh, to which I think you you just healed her. Um, so uh, the captain, uh, Captain Valen Ahimoth, um, <coughs> Manon, uh, was Unta with you guys or was he still disappeared? Uh, I think he was still gone. Yeah, I think so. I he think said- he was still gone, yeah. Cause Ambrose was with Unta. You know, it would it would have been so great if I looked through this before starting. <laughs> Who reviews notes? Uh, not give me, us, give not us five not minutes me. and then we'll welcome you back. <laughs> uh, no, we're not doing that again. Um, 
Okay, so it is the Rift Seekers and Ambrose. Valen, uh, Manon, uh, Amir, the dwarf, uh, Vi and Vicky are with you guys. Now, if you remember, there is someone missing from this list of names. The kobold and his trusty steed, the Mastiff, yeah. are not with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the anyway. wizard. And yeah, Unta. No. Unta's not with you guys, but yeah. I think Ambrose said something about him. That, yeah. Disappearing. My bad. I, You described it and I was like, wizard man. I was like, no, wizard. you specifically said kobold and the giant mastiff. My brain yeah. was like, wizard, oh. so. senile old man. Valen's crew begins to take off before Valen uh, turns around to you guys and just beckons you to follow him. Follow. Yeah. 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 Follow. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dara, you retract the heart of the Iron Ones back to its shield form. You can see the roots and branches, the the iron like wood, just like retract into its shield form, um, and you take off with the rest of your crew. You can hear um, the roaring and screaming of these um, parasites as they hoard around the Black Knight, and as you. Um, approach like the crest or the zenith of this hill, um, you turn one last time to see him with like him dogpiled by these creatures and you see his sword poof, pierce up one more time as he climbs to the top of these dead bodies and he still clashes as you see more of these creatures climb and climb trying to get to him. Um, okay, so. You guys and Valhan Ahimov's crew Dive deeper into Skull Island. <laughs> I don't say the words. Dive deeper on a fucking island. I will kill you. You walk. <laughs> <laughs> more, more, <laughs> more walk. <laughs> okay. So, um, during this time. Clouds, there are thick billowing clouds above you. Um, it's not raining or anything. It is just dark clouds. The wind's kind of picking up. It's a little cold here. You can kind of feel the cold sea breeze against your skin. Um, it is getting darker though. Uh, the sun is waning and it will soon, thank you, I remembered. It will soon be dark um as you guys get far enough away from this crater you would no longer hear the sounds of these creatures however you would helicopter um oh my god that's close i feel the rumble um even though you guys have uh walked far enough away from the battle you still feel the presence of things around you almost like you're being stalked and every time you like look to see if you can find anything watching you you don't but it's almost like every time you turn something has changed in the landscape almost like once there was a rock there and now there's not Cool. Oh, that's a bear one for me! Oh. Sometimes you'll be moving across this rocky landscape, which mm. again is made of this same like bone-like material, and you'll hear like pebbles or rocks falling. And as you go to look, there's nothing there. So it's almost as if no matter where you go, no matter how well hidden you think you are, it still feels like something is watching you. So. I hate that. You guys would continue <clears throat> along um, Skull Island for a bit um, until you would come across a large flat plateau. Off in the distance, you see what appears to be um, a ship 
that has like beached itself onto this plateau. It is broken, but like uh, it's still whole. Um, but you can tell that it is like it won't be able to sail again. Um, That would be, sorry, that would be all. So yeah, sun is waning. It is getting much darker now. And you see this kind of abandoned ship on this large flat plateau. You guys kind of come across like a rocky outcropping and would see this. So what would you guys like to do now? Are you on the boat? Do there seem to be any sort of identifying markers on the boat, like a flag or a, like anything, like, or does it look like it's super old and it's been there for a long time, so stuff has been mm. fucked up? Make a break a perception check, yeah. Can I get in on that? Mm-hmm. Well? Sure. <laughs> Fuck us, I guess. Guys receded into my school. Twelve. Twelve. I, I could try. Uh, yeah, up to you guys. I have a plus four, I have a plus two. But, 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 but. Um, it's actually not gonna be bad now that I think about it, Mike. It was almost a 20. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's still not bad. 17. Mm hmm. Just a random question Is the amulet of greater chances only for hitting? Yes. Okay. Um. So, with the 17, um, God, I need to rearrange things so I can see them better. Um, With a 17, you would be able to identify that this appears to be a merchant ship of some sort. Um, They have the Merchant's Guild uh, symbol on their, like, flag, which is, like, still hanging from the mast. Um... Like I said, the ship appears to be whole, yet um, in a state of disrepair that it would not be able to sail again. So like the bottom of it is completely destroyed um, because of how it's like beached, but it's kind of, think of uh, the black pearl in Davy Jones' locker. It's kind of what it's like. Just the bottom has been destroyed. So now it's like yeah. flat on the, the plateau. Okay. Um, is there any water nearby uh there would be so on this island um you guys would have to jump across like small kind of like crevices you can see at the bottom is water um and there are passages in this island that are big enough for ships to sail through Mm -hmm. so you are on like a large plateau with water around you yeah yeah i know that and i'm meaning near the ship like is there a large passage near that ship uh, there would be near though, like not no super close. This thing is like in the middle of this plateau. So, so it's odd it that it ended up here. Yes. It's, okay. Yeah, that, that's what yeah, I'm trying to get. That's what I, I was like. I think I think I know exactly what you're asking. Yeah. Like, is it weird for this ship to be it's in not, the spot it's in right it's now? It's not like on a beach. It's like it's landlocked. Ship and then like passages around it. That's yeah, it's weird. landlocked. Mm-hmm. So either something has moved. Something put it there. Or big storm makes ship go whang. With a 17 as well, it does look a bit old. Like it's been there for a while. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like recent that this happened. It's been here for a while. Any logical explanations in, that I can see from here that might explain how it ascended a plateau? <laughs> Or logically from here, it doesn't seem feasible without some kind of knowledge of tide happenings, which is at sea, so it doesn't have a tide. What the fuck? I'm trying to think of what you could roll to. <laughs> um. Sir, If you were closer to the ship, I would allow an investigation check that would allow you to find clues as to how this would have gotten here. Okay. I think so we were thinking about looking at closer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So sorry, is that what you're doing? <laughs> Eventually, yes. Okay, cool. How far away is ship? Uh, I would say roughly like 300 to 400 feet away. Oh. Yeah. That's not far at all. No. Come out and go, huh, ship, what the fuck? Okay. Do we want to go investigate or do we want to stay here for a minute? What time of day is it? Uh, the sun it's getting is night. waning. It's starting to go to sleep. It's going. Mm. I'll have to see if this may be shelter for the night. <laughs> yes, but I don't know if we're equipped for another fight. Mm, definitely not. Yeah, you're right. Just, just look at the Macau. I have Please. Like, coming out of both nostrils right now. I mean, I have some mana left. I can. No, let. <laughs> Let's just save it for the morning. We'll have more daylight. We'll be able to see things better. It's just, it's not worth it right now. There's still a chance that something happens in the night. Yeah. Let me heal you. But, okay, but like also, I do have a potion that I could take. Instead. Mana is replenishable. Oh, yeah. Don't waste your. Macau. What? He's right, you know. Just okay, do fine. it. Sure, go for it. Why not? I'm just, you know, concerned that if you're, um, if you're all tapped out, and something does happen, then you gotta get real bonky, you know? <sighs> That is a bit concerning. Find out if I can. It's been a minute. Do you need to remember how to heal? Been a while. Been a while. Been a while. Oh, I wait have a minute. That modify it. Modify it too. Also, apparently five and a half e buffed healing spells. Interesting. I don't know how by much. I saw somebody saying it like double. Wow. Yeah. So like, it's kind of. So cure oof. wounds is instead of one dude, it's two. And then same with healing word, it's two dice. Two and then before? every. Nice. Yeah, and every level doubles the dice. Well, not doubles it, but adds another two. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't have five and a half, so Bro, I can't confirm that. Healer would go hard. Yeah, it would actually make me in <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Our Grave Cleric in our other campaign has been well, the real fucking MVP in our fight. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. No uh, wonder why they would probably do so You're fucking at 15 good. of. What? You're 14, 15 of 14. 14 out of 46. 46, but for 48 hours, I have 56. Well, you know, I have this magical thing called third level spell slots that I don't use. So. I'm in the teens. Nice. When they're supposed to be in the 40s. I'm feeling a little out here at right about Funk Soul Brother, check it out now. Ow, the Funk that's Soul Brother, check it out now. Awful for this level. Also, I just cheated, so it was less than that. It was. <gasps> uh, that's 14. Plus my spell casting ability modifiers, that's 22. Plus, what the fuck does Cleric Life Domain give me? Your healing spells are more effective. First level or higher, additional two plus one. So that's 25 HP from the third level spells. Added to what I have now. Yeah, 25 more HP. Damn. Which is not bad, but. That's not bad. I'm, hey, I'm much closer to 36. Level, that's Cause I'm at 39 now. That was rough. The first roll was good, and then the last two were trash. It was a 7, a 3, and a 1. <clears throat> we out here. Nope. I suppose we're, uh, we're checking out the shipwreck. Yeah. Or we could. The. Looking at the boat. What he said. Boat. Is everyone else equipped? How are you doing over there? I'm hurting, but I still got enough magic juice in me. 
Magic juice, but how are you feeling physically? Yeah, like how bad is the out juice? If you could give me a number, <laughs> and then a number that's better than the number you're at, I'd what say would you say? I'm feeling like an 11 out of 49. Oh, okay. So hey, what's going to happen? Oh, yeah, is either you're healing her, up. or I am giving her one of my potions. Yeah. I also have potions. I've got I do have. Now. I do have one potion. I've got plenty of them. <laughs> Actually, I don't yeah. have any potions. That's fucking crazy. No. Yeah. Fun fact: it's the same number, twenty-five. Oh my god! Thank you. It was almost different. It was a two, a two, and then a seven. <laughs> so the math is <sighs> exactly the same. Uh, do Do you still have mage armor on? Yeah, I do. Oh, mage armor, and I got a bastion. Thank I you. applied one bastion to myself. Thanks, fucking god. Buys spell yeah. slots. I, uh, it was two third level. The ship's a little sketchy, I, but I, I do feel I, nervous about uh, actually camping out. In you the know, open. maybe yeah. it just. Yeah. I was about to say, just maybe for you, ride the broom just in case any of the floors kind of just. What do are you want? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, you're doing. No, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I just a little just scratch on the cheek. I could take a peek inside. Why would we send I you? could take a peek inside. When somebody is in better state. Because I'm sneaky. And I'm... Yes, but <clears> I <throat> can also take a hit. I'm not saying that you can't. No, that's <clears throat> not... I could check I just, out the top. I just... I could fly up to the top just... and check that out. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Samros. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Valen. Sorry. Valen. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. Uh, I changed it's many faces. It's always a surprise. They're just watching this whole thing. <laughs> um, apologize for interrupting your conversation, but um, I can also send one of my people over. Vicky here is a wonderful scout, and is what she is most prepared for. Yeah, she's real good at finding shit. Hey. I complimented yeah. you. Well, thank you. <clears throat> the simplest solution okay. would be to send a Vicky and maybe send a backup just in case. Macau, you have winged boots. I do. That's the thing I got. I can do that. I'm just light on my feet, so. Well, I don't need that. that. That's why I'm saying both of you. You're both quite light on your feet. Seems like a good solution to me. I think so. I think we'd work well together. I agree. Hmm. I don't know if I can agree with that one. Though. It's like a mutual like understanding of just the hatred to the point to where they get yeah, along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Competition's yeah, yeah, yeah. good. You can see like the the anime just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a mutual distrust yeah. here, and therefore <laughs> we're the perfect people. So. This is very true. Yes. I'm not going to try to kill you because that's annoying. To be if you fi- try to kill me, they're going to fuck you up. So that's a whole yeah. simple solution. We just get going. I mean, Please you're go not. Check it out. My, that yeah, would be my... very beneficial to all. I'm sorry, what? Okay, yes. No, we'll go check you... it out. Okay, let's go. Okay. If I say one more stretch on Macau when he gets back. Ornan. We're working together with these people. Let's not no, cause more distrust. Working. My As you guys are walking, um, Vicky seems to be very calm about this all, acting very casual, yeah. actually. I'm um, matching her energy. Yeah. You can tell throughout this time that she has like been here. It's almost like she doesn't have a sense of fear. And it's almost fun for her in a way. As you've yeah. been traveling through Skull Island, um, she is the one that's taking the like risky routes, yeah. but she's having fun while doing it. I was thinking about that. Mm-hmm. Um, so as you guys are walking, you can you can feel eyes on you, and you just kind of like look down. She is just like like looking up at you, just kind of like scanning you almost, and just. So what's what's your whole story? <laughs> <laughs> where do you want me to start, actually? No, but like I'm so serious. Like where give me a time. I don't know, you just you seem kinda like me, but m- not, I guess. Like you're you're very fast. Mm-hmm. So like you must have had some sort of 
upbringing where you had to run a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, you can tell a lot by how fast a person runs. I used to kill people for fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, I used to steal things from people for fun. I mean, I still do, so. Yeah, well, I mean, hey, I... That's kind of like my whole I was gig. also stealing. Oh! Uh, at the same time, and also, you know, stealing people's lives. Um, but, you know, hey, I'm a changed man. I'm doing my best. Um, I'm on the... I'm on the path to fixing that um oh okay but uh but i mean hey you know sometimes i do some very morally questionable things really like what uh, apart from killing people <laughs> well that's one of them um the biggest one i at uh, one time now this is crazy uh -huh. i tried to start the war pretty recently actually <laughs> yeah um <laughs> Her <laughs> reaction on the inside. <laughs> yeah, that it's was a ghost. Really it's ghost. Thing when I was still kind it's of in a, a shit pit, you know. It's but the um, hash oh. slasher. I did that. I worked today. Um, I put two spatulas in my sleeves and I pulled them up like this, and I started clanging them together. Um, but yeah, I, uh, you know, we're figuring it out. We all ended up together completely by chance, I think. Um, mm. I don't know how I feel about the whole fate thing, but um, don't tell the lady I said that, please. Don't tell her I said that. About what? Fate. But I don't. Good. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anyway. Um... What's your game? You're super fucking chill all of a sudden. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh, I mean, not to say that I've been in worse situations, but you know, I've been in bad situations before. Mm -hmm. um, most of my life has been spent, you know, stealing things from people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how I became a part of Valen's crew. I, uh, I tried stealing from him. Uh, it didn't work the first time, so I tried again. Yeah. That also didn't work. And then on my third time, he offered me a job to steal not from him, but for him. And I agreed. Fair enough. Yeah. Also, I'm like the only one that can really like travel around the ship with as much ease. Yeah. Not a lot of the other people are as good on their feet. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very nimble. I'm very nimble. Yeah, you're a... Don't take this the wrong way. You're a slippery little fuck. Yeah. So I yeah. And I mean, this I is. Guess. I mean, it's it's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm a little spooked for sure. Cause, yeah, hey, but I'm but, on a I'm on a skull right but now. That's which is crazy. that's the thing. I mean, we are we're kind of like on the run, but we're hunting at the same time. So it's yeah. it's it's very thrilling. Yeah. I like it. I can see that. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Um, so as you guys are talking, you would approach the um, edge of the ship. And this is quite like a big ship um, for like a merchant ship. Yeah. Um, but you do approach like the side of the ship. And um, from where you're standing, it doesn't appear to be any openings from where you're at. What would you like to do? Uh, could I... I'm going to try to... Communicate via hand signals. I don't want to talk as much as possible when you're the ship. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to indicate to her, like, hold on a second. I'm going to go up. And I want to use my shoes to very slowly make my way up until I can see, like, the deck of the ship. But I want to keep kind of close to the actual side so that I can just peek. Mm -hmm. Because if there's anybody up there, if there's something up there, I don't want them to be like, here's a whole person. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want- I am here! I don't want to fucking dock off like over the side of the boat. <laughs> I want to just like, hello and- I understand, you know, I understand. Yeah. Sure, go ahead and roll stealth. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that we wrote plus 10 healing potion in my skills. Did we? <laughs> yes, it's plus 10 healing potion. <laughs> you wrote that on there. <laughs> yeah? Did you just throw up in your mouth? <laughs> what? Um. Uh, double hockey sticks. Eleven. Did you just 11. say eleven? <laughs> um. 
Okay. Oh. So, with an 11, you get God. You peer over the ship and you can see like scratch marks on the top. Um like on the deck? Yes, as if there was some sort of like scuffle on here. Um and then you can see that there is a hatch uh that it has been ripped open. Um, that leads down to like the the underbelly of the ship or the brig, whatever the fuck you call it, inside the ship. Um, do the scratch marks look larger than what could have been left behind by the parasites, or do they look about the same size? Investigation. Okay. You got this. I don't know um, while you're rolling like as well, you can also see that there are a few, um, there is a cannon up here that still appears to be functioning. Shoot him. As it's, it's not destroyed. Okay. Uh, 14 for the claw marks. There are two sets of claw marks here. One, which you would recognize as the, like, Parasite's claw marks. There are also other claw marks on here that are larger than theirs. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and like just taking a general look around, it doesn't look like there's anything alive or dead on the deck of the ship. Not on the deck of the ship. No, is there? You can also see that there's a ballista as on the deck of the ship that's working as well. Sorry. Uh, a cannon and a ballista. Mm -hmm. Is the ballista working? The ballista is working. So like, there's like the the main deck, and then kind of behind. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that's where the ballista is. You can see it can like turn in like 360 Are you 360 thinking an artificer right now? <laughs> no. Your brain said. No. <laughs> Puzzles, numbers, it's all right here. Oh, oh, oh. I can see every question. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I just remember that I did break the fuck out of one of your puzzles and I got no right. sense of pride from that. Jesus. Is the, you said there's like no corpses or anything up here. No. No blood anywhere. No. I don't like that he had to think about that. Not blood. <laughs> there would be like, pieces of bone see. that you would Ugh. believe to okay. be the like parts of the parasites. Oh, because of wait. how they they don't bleed, but yeah. when you damage them, parts of them like broke off like bone. Yes. Okay. And from, um, and I'm so sorry, I'm just double checking from my brain is super now. From where I'm at, I can see that there was a hatch that was ripped off. Yes. That leads below deck. Yes. I can't see anything through that though right now from where I'm at. Not where you're at. It's okay. too dark inside. I'm going to go back down. Okay. I'm going to relay everything to her very quietly. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna like hip. I'm gonna get her like here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get a skeleton up again. <laughs> and I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get us up and over and very, very delicately like step onto the deck uh, a few feet away from where the. Mm hmm. The hatch opening is. Yeah, she like, <laughs> like tiptoes and then like, then puts her full body weight on the ground yeah, like, on the deck. Yeah. Um, and then just for funsies, I'm gonna put my ear. I'm gonna hold all my jewelry, and I'm gonna put my ear. I'm gonna hold all of it and then put my ear to the. Floor Make a perception check. He didn't see it. All I can hear is my heart going. Okay. 
You don't hear anything. That was a four silent. Because I got a uh, that would have been a six. Silence. Ooh. So, okay, then I'll just sit back up and go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there like a, not there a ladder, but you know those stairs. like steep stairs? Yep. That, okay, mm -hmm. I'll do that thing when you're trying to sneak down to the kitchen to get a little bit of that snack, <laughs> and I'll like put my foot on the stair and then start adjusting my weight as we go down. I'm keeping my head on a fucking swivel the whole time. Okay, sure. Um, okay. Do you do me? so, and very slowly and carefully you descend into the ship. <sighs> Um, it is very dark. You have dark vision though, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I miss you guys. Um, okay. Huh? You I miss you guys. Descend into the darkness of this ship, but with your dark vision, um, you're able to see around you. Um, it appears that there was a fight that took place here. Yeah. You can see makeshift barricades on different parts of this area. You can see that there are a few rooms as well. The doors have been um, bashed open or torn out. Um, and you can see um, small uh, holes in the planks of the ship, like in the walls. Um, you can see uh soot and like remnants of like small explosions i guess um pieces of bone everywhere um and as you continue looking you can see like uh tattered clothing dried blood um you can see uh another cannon uh pointing out that looks still functional um you can see that there are barrels of oil um you can see um, what else is in here? Essentially, there was a fight. Something broke in and took out who or whatever was still in here. Okay. Can she see? Uh, she's a halfling, so nope. Okay. Uh, as we start like getting lower before all that stuff, obviously, I'm gonna like, be like, I don't know if she can see. And if, you, just, if you stop, you just, poof, she like yeah. runs behind you. Then I'll like poof, reach down and like grab her hand and like bring it up to the back of my shirt and just pat it. She pats back. So the, I'm gonna clench her hand around my shirt and pat it and then pull away. I'm, I'm like, I'm, okay. going, I'm going, stay. I'm like, stay here. Hold on to me. Hold on to the shirt. I'm like, stay. You okay. And then, and then I look up. Make okay. Sure that she's holding on to me. She does. Okay. Thank God. So it just looks like, from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look like there's any remnant of anybody or anything on this ship. It, look, it looks completely. So you are kind of like in this small like hallway, I guess. Okay. Um, there's a room behind you. Um, at the end of where at this hallway, you can see like at the front of the ship, it looks to be like a storage room almost. There are barrels and crates that have been broken into, some that are still intact. Um, but in this hallway seems to be where the majority of this fight took place, I guess. Okay. So there are, there are room behind you, storage room in front of you, and there are four rooms. Okay. Two on each side. Then I'm gonna go if I understood you correctly, I'm gonna go backwards okay. toward the room that doesn't look like where most of this happened mm -hmm. because that feels the most suspicious to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I wanna go back that way. Okay. Um, 
you would see um, that this appears to be like a kitchen area. Okay. Um, this place seems to be a little bit more untouched than the rest of the ship. Um, there wasn't a lot in here. You can see some of the cabinets or cupboards um, are open or some of the doors have been ripped off their hinges. Um, you can see that there are bottles of alcohol, some still standing and full, some of them still tipped, some of them tipped over and empty. Um, there are a few bottles everywhere. Uh, crates of food have been broken into and a lot of it is um, either gone or have rotted away. Um, so that's kind of what you can see in here. How rotten would you say that shit is? Uh, survival check. Okay. Please. It looks old and bad. Yeah. Okay. Very old and very bad. So far my assumption is this has been here for a while. There are no insects around it. Oh my god. I don't like the way that made my stomach feel. <laughs> hey, hey, viewer. I didn't like that. <laughs> Leave a comment if you also did it. <laughs> god damn. I'm going. Welcome to... back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everyone. Welcome back, Lord. <laughs> oh, no, it's actual I, I feel like you need to spice them all together. <laughs> No. That's the opening. Welcome, 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 welcome back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, Start off with Jamie's explanation, and it's just a welcome, 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 welcome. Are there? Mm -hmm. Would you say that it would yield anything if I looked at the cabinets that hadn't been ripped open or, or left open or anything? They could. Okay, I'm a. Oh, that's precarious. So I'm gonna wait to do that. Okay. I'm gonna go back out. Something just jumps off the face hugger. Yeah, I, I was worried that I would like open it and go, Aah! and whatever's here would be like, Aah! and try to kill me. So I'm like, I don't wanna play that game. So. Not today? Nah, right now, please. I would like to be alive. So I'm going to then go back mm -hmm. into like the main area of the, like the hallway and start doing a SWAT style room clearing where I poke in, look around, check for anything suspicious, move to the next one and just make an investigation check. Please. Oh. please. Please, 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 please. I am begging on my hands and fucking knees. Fifteen. That was okay. almost a natural point. So, that would have been sick. One of the rooms, as you look through, you can see that in this room in particular, um, there were a lot of things in front of this door at some point that were thrashed to the side. Okay. Um, there are two bodies in here, um, both humanoid, um, skeleton remains, tattered clothing. Um, there are broken weapons near them. One looks to be like a flintlock pistol. Um, another one looks to be like a scimitar. Um One of their bodies is in half, like their torso skeleton and their legs are separated. Um, the other one's body is intact, but their bones are crushed in multiple places. Um, the wall out of this room, which would have been on the opposite side of you, has severe claw marks to where you can see outside from it um, and multiple bullet holes in this room. Okay. But it doesn't seem like there's any threat in here right now. No. Um, going to check the other rooms. Um, in another room, you would see uh one body, door broken, um, not many barricades. Um, you can see remnants of spells that were casted in here that affected um, the interior of this ship. Um, one looks to be like a scorch mark from a fire blast, um, wood that has decayed from sort of sort of acid splash or something. 
um, stuff like that. The other two rooms are also in similar states of destruction. Um, there are three more skeleton remains that you would find. So this seems at one point to have been a full crew. With that investigation check as well, uh, you would see that there is another hatch that leads to the very bottom of the ship. Um, that one is not opened. Are there any claw marks around the hatch? Not to get in, no. I don't. Like, there are claw marks around it, yeah. but it doesn't look like it was anything, anything was trying to get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm, that concerns me. I wonder if there's anything on the other side. Uh, hmm. The world may never know. I'm about to find out if I can. Um, okay. Be careful, Pookie. <laughs> careful is my middle name. No. I would like to, after making sure that Everything's kosher here. Oh, my Macau senses are tingling. Um, I know it's probably a dumb idea, but I want to do it anyway. Can I pick up the pistol and just tuck it away? Sure. Okay. Um, I don't care if there's like ammo in it, or I assume there's nothing nearby. It appears to be broken, but you can still okay, cool. I just want to take it, snag it, because mm -hmm. um, I just think it's interesting. Um, Didn't one of the like crew members use a gun um for the the other people yes with like so the, i the, wonder if like valen would know anything about the, it yeah because silvertooth has a gun yeah. but i don't know i was about like them. it's worth keeping you yeah. like do you recognize hey this? what up with this um okay i am going to guide Vicky like toward the hatch and like pat her hand over it to indicate like hey there's I'm gonna check this out so that it's not just like we're gonna keep going down and be like hey there's a hatch we're going in okay um and then I'm gonna try to open it very quietly make a stealth check okay <laughs> that's the noise we don't want to make well yes <laughs> Fifteen. Remember, plus ten, twenty-five. No, that's for healing potion. Damn. You open it and it does not make a sound. Hell yeah. <laughs> you look down in there. You can see, at least from the top of the hatch, there is some sort of contraption at the bottom of the ship. Even though it's destroyed, and you can see the actual like rocky ground. Um, there are remnants of this sort of machine. Um, you would be able to see what looks to be like a sail of some sort. Like yes. destroyed bits of it. Like a... Hmm. So the machine thing and a sail or... It, it's like all in one. It's some sort of machine, and there is a sail. That's for you, where you can see from where you're at. You're okay. at the top of a hatch. You can see yeah. partial bits of it. Can I, without going down there, because I assume there's another set of stairs that are leading mm -hmm. down to that. There's, like, not a lot because yeah, it's just, destroyed, but yes. I'm going to go to... You would have to, like, crouch if you're going to try to, like, maneuver yeah. the bottom. I'm going to go to the other side of the hatch mm -hmm. from up top and upside down look down there. Okay. From what you can see, you can see the rest of the machine, at least from what's still there. Um, one part of the ship is kind of like leaning up more. You can see that this sail is horizontal and it appears to be like a flap that has um, like almost sheathed itself into the ship. And you can see that it might somehow be able to expand outwards. Into, but it's made the, of like... Into the ship ship or right. into the contraption? Yeah. It can like... F from what you see, it is folded into the inside of the ship. Okay. 
like the ship that we're on right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're not quite sure what this what is, is, but you can see yeah. kind of like gears and cogs and pulleys and strange mechanisms. Okay. And look around, I don't see any murder. <laughs> um, make one more investigation check because yeah. there is maybe. Oh. You're going to be fine. What it's flavor yours. of murder? <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Yours. You said, I'm sorry, you said investigation or presumption? Investigation. investigation. Okay. 16. There is one more corpse here. Okay. From what you can see, this is a suit of armor, one that you've not seen before. It looks highly advanced from any sort of suit of armor that you would have seen. Um, let me pull it up here. Here we go. So this suit of armor is made out of kind of like copper and bronze. The majority of it is leather, like leather studded armor. Uh, there is a leather hood and this corpse is wearing a, think of like a World War II style gas mask um, with goggles on. Um, its boots and gloves are big, not as big as your mecha gauntlets, but of similar size. Um, there are pipes attached, um, to the boots and gloves and wires attached to a very advanced metal bronze steel backpack on its back. Wires are attached to mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a scimitar sheath to its side, um, and you would see on its like right hand laying near it is, it looks like a flintlock pistol. You would have not seen this weapon before, I don't think, but it's like a long barreled flintlock pistol. It's a, <laughs> what? to describe it, it's a rifle. It's a you rifle. just, your character doesn't know I what don't it know is. What it is. Mm -hmm. Long gun. Yep. <laughs> Long, pew, pew, mm -hmm. pew, pew, pew. long, far away death. Long death. Way of the long death. <laughs> we figured it out. has unlocked rifle. I unlocked rifle because of my monastic tradition. Uh, it was funny in our, uh, the last session that I played with my other group, <laughs> one of them had a gun. Wasn't proficient in it, but he goes, I cast gun. <laughs> oh, no. I cast gun. Okay. And there does not seem to be any potential further murder down. No. Okay. This person seemed as a last ditch resort to try to wait off whatever and uh, didn't make it out. Does it look like they have any sort of bodily harm or does it look like they just waited and they got stuck and died down there? Oh, fuck. There is no damage on this person. That sucks. Damn. <laughs> okay and fully believing now, please God, that we're safe, I'm gonna turn to Vicky and be like, hey, so there's, um, there's a lot of dead people around. Don't know why I didn't mention that sooner. <laughs> I was kind of, I was locked in, I was focused. Um, okay. There's a machine down here, but I think we, I think we're good. To go back and let everybody else know it's a, a machine? It looks like it has a sail, but it's like flat. No way. Is we I don't know. I think I know what it is. What do you think it, it is? It would explain why the ship's here at least. What the, what the, what the, what is this Have you ever heard of a skyship? <gasps> Have I ever heard of a skyship? History check. <laughs> yes. We have. No. Have we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was mentioned in Mothmanger. 
I think, maybe? I, I don't think know. so. Not too sure. Does Mikhail anyway, remember? In your past, no. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, they got crazy shit to love me. I'm really, I don't know. I mean, these things are more popular in the spires. Okay. Near prominence. It's kind of like the sole creator of these kind of ships. Okay. Um, they can be used to travel across land, sea. I mean, they travel through air. Yeah. This guy. Okay. So, maybe it went through a rough storm or something and got here? Wait, but why is it... Does, does it look like it ended up in the ship, or does it look like it has been here? The machine? Yeah. It's been there. It's attached to the ship. Okay. It's a ship-wide contraption. The sail is folded in. From what you saw, it looks like somehow it could have slotted out to become a wing. Okay. That guy is kind of giving pilot energy now, or like with the mask and the goggles and the, sh- you know. Very well. That's what's happening in my brain. But went down with like, the ship. How doesn't know that? Um, okay, then. Do you think we're going to, like, go back and look at the one? What's up and decide if we want to come back in? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I also know the gun! That's dangerous. It's broken. Oh, well, less dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting! If it was working... Okay, I'm just, fuck. Sorry, I don't want to just, like, kind of grab her and start leaning her back. Okay. <laughs> so, um, the rest of you guys... <laughs> you watch as Macau and Vicky, the red-haired half halfling, um, make their way to the ship and then dip into it for quite some time. Yep. Um, during this time, as it gets darker outside, you would begin to hear more and more movement around you. That feeling of something watching you has now become more real as you can hear things moving around you, steps, rocks tumbling around you. You can hear almost as if something is chittering, like its jaw is clacking together. Oh, I'm glad we had uh, the same reaction to that. I literally went, oh! Well, um, yeah, good you work, can good hear work. the hissing sound of these creatures, and it feels like they're stalking you, like a pack of wolves that have you surrounded and are waiting. I can't do it because it's not the scent of blood. <sighs> Um, you prepare a spell. Sure. Yeah. I would like you to see um, Valen's crew who get tense, and you can actually see them readying weapons. Um, Manon pulls out uh, a dagger. Uh, you can see Valen, who kind of has his hounds out to the side. Um, his lightning markings on his arms uh, begin to glow dimly. Um, Uh, Amir, the other dwarf that you have with you, uh, pulls out like a, a war pick that he has with him and kind of readies My it. Man. I would say we should start moving towards the ship. Okay. It's going to be more defensible. I think that's a good idea. Um, no torches. We don't want to make ourselves more visible. It's not a bad idea. I don't. I can't see at night, so. I was like, I can see at night. That's great. That fixes I, I one can, of our problems. I can, we do good old hands. I was like, I, d- I just don't want us to be more visible than we need to be. Yeah, I'm completely Understood. understandable. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying it's going to cause problems. If we start getting attacked, then we bring out the torches. But as we are moving, I'm and to be unseen... not arguing. I agree. 
I'm just stating the fact that it will be problematic. Let's go. Does anybody else of the other team have dark vision? Human, human, dwarf, so no. I feel like a dwarf does. I feel like a dwarf would. Yeah, I think dwarves have it. They're mining. Yeah, if dwarves <laughs> don't have it, what are they doing? Oh, nice stereotype, yeah. Andrew. Thank you. Want another? <laughs> I love just the click, 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 click. Oh my god, where are the normal ass... Oh, at the very bottom, of course, because they're trying to push the fucking... <laughs> 2024 rules. Uh, they do have dark vision. You're right. Uh, so what, what is uh, the, humans what is the do dwarf? not. What is the dwarf's name? Amir. Uh, Amir. Hey. Can you can you lead everybody towards the ship and I'll bring up the rear just so I can keep an eye out. Hey, you two, come on, let's go. All right. You see, um, he starts to like lead them towards the ship. Let's go. I'll be the last one in because I'm mm. preparing the uh, title. Uh, you can't I, see. I, I got the will, goggles. I oh, yeah. You do yeah. have the goggles. Okay, so I we, got the funny so. we, we can bring up the rear. We're... Yeah. I was like, Amir can see the front of the ship. We're keeping our eyes out on the back. Yep. Those motherfuckers have my vision. I'm going to cry. So, as you guys make your way towards the ship... Eve, you stay behind just for a moment to start preparing spells. Um, as you do, you kind of feel a mixture of energies. One seems very palpable. Is that the right word? Yeah, Maybe almost like yeah, you can, almost you tangible. It, yeah. yeah, and it's right beside you. And as you kind of like look up and you're <laughs> staring into the darkness of like this kind of like rocky, almost mountainous terrain, I guess is what you could see. Um, you would see silhouettes of those parasites hanging on to like the cliff sides, looking in your direction. And beside you, you feel this welling up of energy and it feels dark. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. No, please. Do you, do you have your goggles on? She has her goggles on. Okay. And then I was bringing up the <laughs> rear, keeping an eye out on the back of us. Okay. Uh, 14. My good sir. 14. Of where, of where, of where. It's such a good number. I love to count. <laughs> <laughs> 15, 14. <laughs> That's seven <laughs> times two! That is lol. <laughs> the DC. Me, Let me, us go! Me, Let me, us go. go. <laughs> Let us go! <laughs> Fuck yeah! As you turn, you I can see Ambrose. What? And a dark energy is swirling around him. You can see Ambrose is frozen his head tilted up almost as if his body is like possessed and he's on like strings that are just kind of like holding him up this dark energy swirls around him and as you kind of like look up even more you can see almost this dark energy take form you would know what this thing is this is what you would see as like the god of fear taking form. I need you to go ahead and make an arcana check. Hey, when the fuck did he get permission to do that? No, I guess. I don't think he has permission to do that. Unless he does, I didn't know about it. I mean, I don't think we have permission to tell the gods no. I'll do it. Uh, let me see, arcana? Yeah. I don't suggest it. Thank you for the suggestion. Your marking on your leg says a lot. I'll take it into consideration. 17. Uh, 17, sir. It. You can feel it. With your 
newfound powers and ability to kind of feel other people and their presence. Everyone here that is alive is somewhat under the condition of frightened. Because of whom Ambrose worships and where he gets his power from, it almost seems, or you would know, you would know, Ambrose has become the conduit of fear. So he is essentially, oof, his battery is overcharged right now with the power that he is able to take from this site. As if this is a site of fear, a divine area of Ryak. And now Ambrose's power is overwhelming. And it's, it's, he doesn't know how to contain it. And so it is currently just a aura of fear around him. His eyes are pitch black. Ambrose, Ambrose. You just seem just. I feel so much power. He like looks over you, and, and there's both a sense of fear, but also a sense of um. Uh, like manic energy, I guess. Like he kind of likes this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I run over to face him, like place my hands on his shoulders. Uh, you already saved the wisdom to saving throw, so yeah, you can do that. As you get closer, you feel like the wind pressure around him is. Um, a, a lot. <laughs> Hi, the wind pressure. Wind currents are <laughs> a lot. A lot. It's a, it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm playing this cinematic in my head. I'm like, how the fuck do I describe this? Um, high wind pressures are like surrounding him. So getting close is kind of, uh, it's hard to get to him. But eventually, you're able to push through and put your hands on his shoulder. Listen to me, Macau. Not my cow. Shit, shit. Arian? <laughs> That's a new timeline. <laughs> Listen to me, Ambrose. This is not who you are. Come back to us. I can use this. I can do so much. And you could do so much more without him. Uh, make a persuasion check. My skin itches. Twelve. Itch. My bones itch. My bones fucking oh, persuasion? itch. Persuasion? That's fourteen. That's fourteen. Um. Okay, you tell Ambrose he can do so much more uh, without Ryak, and at that, when you say that, Ambrose's head just. And he like looks at you, and you can say, or you can see his face has become distorted. This black energy like forms around his face, widening his smiles, and his eyes get larger. His voice changes, and there's so much more I can do with this power. And he turns, and you can hear these, like, creatures, like, start descending the cliffside and approaching you. And all of you would be able to hear this distorted, warped scream that Ambrose lets out before a wave of energy just <laughs> blasts out. Um, the rocks on the cliffside begin to tumble, and you can hear the screeching of these creatures as they fall to the ground. Um... And at that point, everything kind of goes silent afterwards, just whoosh, before you begin to hear the creatures start to get back up and begin to rush you. Uh, 
Um, all the power from Ambrose kind of just gets drained all at once. And he kind of like slumps against you before he regains consciousness and just <laughs> looks back at you. What just happened? No time to explain. Get yourself ready. Those things are coming. He kind of like looks out and goes, shit. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, Macau, as you um, re-enter, or sorry, as you leave the ship, um, you feel the poof, along with the scream of Ambrose, and then silent. Am I able to tell it's him? Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what are you guys doing? I say we run. <laughs> to where? The boat. High ground, defensible. Let's go. Yep. Okay. I'll take the rear. Um, yeah, still. Uh, yeah. The rest of you guys would have been walking forward. You're maybe, maybe halfway there. Um, well, you guys have spent some time behind. Um, so, okay. All of you guys are booking it towards the ship. Um, you cannot see that far out. Um, so you don't really know what's going on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my own sanity, considering we've gone from a reasonable pace to lighting a torch. Yeah, okay, fair. You would see a torch light up in the distance. We're fucking running from these things. When did you get my accent? <laughs> Um, I know that I can't see super well, like past a certain distance and there's like the light that's kind of halfway, but it's mm. small and, it's, and then it's even further back. A scream has already been scrumped. I am going to run to the edge of the ship and like over the edge, just run as loud as I can. All of you hear it. So. Run, bitch, run. All we go. Start running towards <laughs> the ship. Um, and I'm gonna fucking. What, what are the words I'm looking for right now? What? Yep. Yep. Please, not Ip. today. Oh. Not today. I need to invest Thank in you. a faraway weapon. Ah. I need to invest. What are you? The best. Like invest as a monk. I, I was like, the best it. you have is like darts. I and I, I only got ten of those. That works. So I need to invest in like a. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. So. You won't be proficient. Uh, should be. All of you guys start running towards the ship. Um, the only the creatures that are coming towards you guys are behind you so it should be pretty easy for you two and the crew uh to make it to the ship pretty easily um you need to go ahead and make me an athletics check please along Ooh. with uh ambrister not ambrister Am 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 ambrose ambrose boom <laughs> ambrose <laughs> ambrose <laughs> Has too many problems. Amberster is rolling initiative. Oh, okay. My broom. Yeah, easy enough to do. I'll be there, catch you if you fall. <laughs> okay. Oh, trust me. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on between those two. Yeah. <laughs> Some. Something. 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 Uh, everything. <laughs> everything. We'll see. Okay, Do so just, you hop we'll on the broom see. and begin flying at breakneck that. speed towards the ship. Uh, Ambrose is running on foot and rolled pretty well, so he's doing good. Wonderful, okay. Um, so, you guys would all be able to make it to the ship before the creatures do. Um, okay, yeah, so. Uh, you two first. You make it to the ship. Um, there doesn't seem to be kind of a way to get on from where you guys are at approaching the side of the ship. Um, could I, as they're making the approach... Oh god, I don't know how much I can lift. I have rope. 
I will, as they are making the approach, I will fucking like around the railing of the ship or whatever and mm-hmm. like toss it down. Cool. Yeah. In preparation for the arrival. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, they would be able to make an easy climb up the rope. So yeah, you guys make it to the ship. You see a rope has been tossed down by Macau, um, and you're able to climb up into the ship. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You fly in. Uh, <laughs> The ship. Ambrose is the last person. You see him running as fast as he can, and just behind him, you can finally see the claws of these creatures just <laughs> coming at him. I throw myself oh. off the fucking ship. Why? You I throw myself off the fucking ship. Okay. I go, right. with, this I go with wing boot, not all the way to where he <laughs> yeah. is, but in preparation for when he gets there, so I can grab and go up. I do like a, a sweep around and just fucking swoop to grab him and get on the bottom of the ship. Sure. Make an athletics check. Yeah, 100%. No, yup, 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 yup. I know it's stupid. I know it's stupid. I just fly. You're a fucking moron and you should know that. The cow is a moron. I, I know yeah. it's stupid. I just fly around like, oh, looks like you got him. Okay. Well, <laughs> I panicked. See? I panicked. I panicked. Okay. <laughs> grab me. Listen, sometimes a character makes That's a choice that the person would not make. <laughs> That's my boy! <laughs> I need to make sure he's okay. Would, would, sorry. Athletics. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's not fucking fair. That's no, so three, evil. Two, two, that is so no, evil. Look, you hit the side of the fucking Jamie, box. Jamie, you missed, you missed the one. No, you missed the one. You hit it. That's it's up a... to you. That, that, yeah, I hit the side of the box. He said, Toss you. That's up to you. What was your roll? What I rolled, hit the side of the box, was a Four, but it would have been plus two. So six. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you <laughs> jump down in preparation for Ambrose, and you you and him kind of like embrace each other, and you go to lift off, and you are just not able to carry him up. Those creatures are getting close. They are right there. Fucking They're on your ass. Else. Okay. Uh, right. Ambrose was fully prepared and just kind of like embraces you and then you don't go anywhere and then he turns around to see the creatures <laughs> <laughs> um grab him grab grab I'm just you can, I'm gonna just, you can carry up to 300 yeah. pounds <laughs> again to to get up make if, an athletics if, check if they claw the yeah. shit out of me that's fine make I don't an, care as long as I check. get him off of the ground mm-hmm. at the very least sure <laughs> <laughs> Nine. No. Yeah. Okay. That is what that means in German, so that works out in this scenario. Wow, this is dice here. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going Stop on. Stop using that one. If you want to come back around to try to scoop yeah. him up, I'll try to scoop him up. Make, make a dexterity check. Um, Just a regular check or a saving throw? It's gonna be you. Okay. Um, no. 10 for dice. S- no. Um, so, you try a second time to lift off. The boots are not supporting you and Ambrose weight. As second time, Ambrose is kind of like, now he's he's getting anxious, real anxious. Um, from the side, you kind of like look over as one of the creatures j- jumps onto the side of the ship, pounces off and slashes at you. Yeah. Uh, you take seven points of piercing damage. Fine by me, fine by me. Um, fine by me. Oof. Fine by me. You got this buddy. I know, I, I know what I do. <laughs> I know what I've done in this scenario. Fire damage. Why would it do fire damage? What the fuck? Hold on. That don't make any sense. Um. Why would it do? I'm so confused. Hold. I have it written, they do seven uh, for this attack, seven slashing plus seven fire damage. But it don't do fire damage. 
I know that for a goddamn fact. You had a little brain. Yeah, that's really weird. It would, if anything, it's necrotic damage. So you take another seven necrotic damage from it. Okay. Um, so 14 in total, seven okay. it's necrotic. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, the creatures are about to descend on all of you. You can hear them getting extremely close and seeing um, they are within melee, most of them within melee range of you. Um, what are you, what are you guys doing? It's almost like in slow motion right now, you yeah. are surrounded on all side by these creatures. Um, Ambrose is still like holding on, waiting for something to happen and you're trying to take off. Boots are not going. And in this moment of slow motion where all these creatures are just about to like descend on you as they're most of them like midair, what are you doing? I don't know if this is gonna work okay. because I don't know if these creatures are capable of this. So it's a real big gamble. <laughs> but I wanna to try to do the hour of reaping thing. Okay. But I specifically wanna make sure that Ambrose like, because I still have him, I wanna make sure he doesn't see it. I wanna keep him to my shoulder and just stare them down and try to make them scared of me. <laughs> Is that what our reaping does? Makes yeah. them frightened of you? Yeah, it uh, frightens creatures within 30 feet that I can see. They have to make a wisdom save and they'll be frightened of me. Sure, I'll make uh, one roll for a collective group of them. Yeah. Sure. Uh, what's the DC? <laughs> it's, a, it's a wisdom save of 14. This is a big fucking gamble, but it's all I got. It's all I got, otherwise I'm gonna just have to start punching them and I can't hit all of them. Nope. So. So, Please! the creatures are about to descend on you. Ambrose kind of like looks away and buries his face into your shoulder. Yeah. You hold him tight. And you turn your head towards all of them. Some of them are just about to leap in the air. And you hear the sound of bells tolling. And the creatures, as they like, and they descend slightly back into the darkness. You can hear them surrounding you now. In fact, some of the ones that are behind them begin to go around the ship and start surrounding it. Mm -hmm. As you are looking out into the, this crowd of these creatures on all four, there's a horde of them. All of them are on all fours right now. They almost look like just a pack of just disgusting wolves at this point. In the group of them, one of them, stands up on its hind legs and you can see this thing is big, mm -hmm. broad shoulders, long knife, sword-like claws. Yeah. And you can see its jaw kind of like split open, almost like Predator kind of, and just <laughs> And you can see this thing, uh, creatures like are surrounding it almost like its pack. Mm -hmm. And it begins to kind of like just sidestep you and just look at you. What are you guys doing? Rest of you guys are on the ship and kind of like, well, what are you doing while you're on the ship? I'm not good at ranged. Uh, I'm not either. Uh, I'm uh, immediately, I'm yeah. Valen and his crew, you can hear Valen barking orders uh, to prepare uh, defenses, grab anything that they can uh, to help defend themselves um, in the um, ship. Is it Vicky, was it? Mm -hmm. I have one choice. Uh, 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 Vicky. Fuck you, right? What, what was mm -hmm. on the ship? Uh, she would uh, explain to you really fast as she is. Um, you see her um, grabbing nets together and start like weaving, tying nets together. Um, she tells you there is a ballista uh, on the ship, on the, I don't know if quarter deck, whatever the fuck you call it, on the back of the ship, kind of like where it goes, uh, deck, stairs, 
upper kind of deck, yeah. there's a ballista that can turn in 360 degree uh, degrees. Um, there are three bolts there. Uh, there is a cannon on the deck of the ship um, with one cannonball. Below the deck is another cannon uh, with two cannonballs. Um, there is alcohol in the kitchen. Um, there are rags. Um, there are barrels of oil. Um, you I'm would little, also hear to... her say, or not her, but uh, someone else would from downstairs oh. uh, would yell that within the the crates uh, there is a uh, grape shot, which is essentially shrapnel I'm being blasted to, out of a cannon. I'm going to look at everyone. Who's good with heavy things? And who's got fire? There's oil. There's oil on the ship. If we can throw the fucking, if we can throw the barrels off and then ignite it with fire, that can give us an advantage. There's also two cannons. And the ballista. Um, ballista. We can try. You we can also, also do Molotovs. You would also be able to see that there is a rather large anchor that's still like attached that can be dropped. Um, there is multiple, not multiple, there's a lot of debris as well uh, around the ship that can be used as like fortifications or defensive if need be. Uh, what were you? Valen was a human? Mm-hmm. Uh, Valen! Come in. <laughs> yes. Can you help me throw some barrels, barrels of oil off the ship? Of We've course. got someone Let's who's go. good with Let's fire. Go. And okay. I will also help with them. Okay. That's probably going to be the best thing. Uh, uh, wonderful. Mora, anyone who wants to shoot off a cannon can... can I can go Anyone good with cannon? Aye, I can do it. Go for it. Wonderful. Somebody man the ballistas as well, please. I can take care of those. Um, I was like, there's or, not. Or, yeah. Manon says she can do something as well if you need her to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have her yeah, have her do that. I could cook tidal waves. I still got three spells. Wonderful. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, Manon will get on the ballista. All right. And you have, do you have long range fire spell? At least something that could possibly spark the oil? I don't think magic missile. Magic missiles force. I know. No. Fuck it, the will try throwing the torch then. It'll, it'll work. It'll you work. guys have, if you have torches, you have to have tinder boxes. So. Yeah, so we've got. That's true, but I'm throwing. Yeah. Yeah. You say you can, there are rags too, or and stuff that you can light on fire and throw. And That's not a torch. Too. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. You guys start setting up your uh, defenses and attacks to ward off this horde of creatures. Um, oh, what you guys doing? Big 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 big. Ornan just like <laughs> big pee pee. Um, I don't know when immediately like when you were uh, like describing things on the shift like I saw like the whole scene playing out in my head yeah. of how I was gonna devise this because I felt like, <laughs> I knew yeah. it was coming. Ornan took over me and I was like, I the plan, it. the plan is here. Okay, I'm Leader going mode. to still kind of still kind of having them. Yeah. Sorry. Hold. Yeah, you're good. On your next. Sorry, because Ornan gave you guys directions, all of you will get advantage oh, on yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the next roll that you have to do if you want to. I'll say any attack that you do, you can have advantage on for like only once though. Okay. So yeah. Use it you get advantage on one of your attack rolls. Because Ornan gave you direction on what to do. Alright. I remember having a conversation about mm -hmm, this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a, a whole part of my character. Um. Welcome back. He was a war leader. Welcome back, Mr. Leader. <laughs> we'll also say... Oh, fuck. What would I roll for this? Uh, make, make, uh... Chari just a charisma check. What's your intimidation, actually? Do Plus four. Use that. Okay. 
18. You guys nice. are immune to the frightened condition for this combat. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Not me, bitch, I'm a pussy! <laughs> um, I, I just, I just fired all that. Yeah. Don't so lie. Essentially, so you are um, like a rock in a river that things are avoiding, essentially. There is a clear line of where these things are not crossing because you are staring out at them. Okay. Uh, Ambrose is currently still just burying his yeah. head in you. So what, what, are you, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna keep staring at that big boy. Mm-hmm. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna kind of start like pushing him Prolong to the side. Eye contact. And Bruce gets on the fucking ship. Okay. Get on the ship. He starts climbing the rope. Okay. I'm gonna keep staring at that fucker. He keeps like. <laughs> Dara, can you hear me? Yeah. What do you need? How stupid should I be right now? Not. Don't be that stupid. Macau, we have a plan. I want to fuck this guy up so bad. We're You'll gonna, get, co- with a You'll get caught Melissa. in the crowd. I'm talking to Dara. I would lay low. We're going to be firing unpleasant shit at it. Avoid the fireballs. The creatures start to split like the Red Sea, giving you a clear path to this thing. (laughs) And it stops. It stops moving and it stares at you. Ah, Okay. Uh... Oh no! (laughs) Mm. It's almost like this creature, um, it has a unique influence on the rest of this pack. It also seems to have an interesting level of sentience here, which is what I want to find out. Um. Oh. Ooh. A little, a little bit of the, 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 the Ornan fuck it we ball is kind of seeping in, but it's also give, it's also just a dish digger energy that's like, I want to fuck him up. Fuck you're going to get fucking old. I know. You're going to get Molotov, you're going to get lit on fire, you're going to get a cannonball. Seven nuclear <laughs> missiles. Seven nuclear missiles. Um, has Ambrose made it up to the ship? Yet? At this point, yes. Whip around to him. Got any fire? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Do what you're good at. We're going to fuck shit up. Just don't go back down there. Okay. Um, he starts just throwing uh, Eldritch Blast. Just good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to... Macau, you're the, you're the only one that has a decision to make. No. How long does your thing last? Which thing? The stair. I just stare at that fucker. This is what I do. I stare at that fucker. Because I thought that lasted longer, so that's my bad. So then what he would have done, okay. he'd stare at that bitch. They they part in that last second. He looks at the, this creature dead in the eyes and just goes. And then launches himself. Before you're boots. able to launch, does a 16 hit? Yes, that is. Um, okay, so as you point at this creature, um, you are so focused in on this one thing that you didn't hear the other creatures 
start moving in on you. Yeah, I got a little and tough. Just as you take off, one creature launches itself and opens its mouth and just latches onto your calf. And you took off with enough speed that this thing's teeth kind of like shreds your calf as you lift off. Uh, you take, you know what, I'm gonna roll for this one because uh, nine points of piercing. You got tunnel vision? I don't know. I don't know about that. And another nine points of necrotic damage. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) We should have rest. (laughs) Oh, I forgot I have reckless attack. Guys, I love (laughs) D&D. Oh, no. Oh, I love dealing with the consequences of my characters that I've created. You are all on the ship. I still have... Two of the um, heat seeking bolas. Oh! We still, I still have the, I still have I the still bolas. Have I st- we still have them. We never use them. We got, we got <laughs> what about the up? <laughs> Not gonna lie, bro. We got the bolas. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the bolas. You are all manning your battle positions. I also have my nat twenty punch okay. card. So, so. Um, what are we all doing again? Oil, Oil, me, and Val. Cool. I will give you advantage on athletics checks to grab the barrels of oil and dump them overboard. Okay. Are they swarming the bottom of the ship? Uh, not yet. This is all while Macau and okay. um, yeah, Ambrose we'll are still. You would make your way back up with the barrels of oil as Ambrose kind of gets back on. So go ahead and roll athletics check, though. With advantage? Yep, because Valen's helping. Don you too. Wonderful. You guys are both able to carry um, large barrels of oil Beautiful. and are you dumping them off the side of the ship? Or are you like pouring it around the outside of the ship, like dumping it on the ground? Oh, I was going to throw it at them. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fine. Sure. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a make an attack with advantage, yeah. As a note, we have three blue dynamite sticks that we never used in that mm-hmm. fight in the with if the, the fi- if the fire beings, doesn't work then or which creates foam that restricts movement restrains people and creatures and we also i think we each got we got bolas enough for all of us to have two yes That's so we right. each have two heat seeking bolas okay what Bola. if, so we can do the oil first and then throw the torch down for the fire can use the blue dynamite sticks to entrap them there yeah um, and then wail on them from that point yeah. on. Because yeah. if we restrict their speed, then they can't dodge. Yeah. So therefore the ballista and the cannons would come in really handy. Yeah. And if they start moving yeah. forward, we can use the bullets to trap them. I can also commit myself because I'm melee based to handling anything that gets on the ship as well. Okay. I just need to chug a healing potion real quick. So yeah. where are you throwing the barrels? At the horde. Okay, they're surrounding the ship. I would say we focus on the direction in which big boy. Yep. Yeah, we'll focus if we, on the if direction we take out big cool. boy. Cool, sure, do that. They won't be as organized. Yeah, make an, make an attack roll. The advantage. an 11. 11's not gonna hit it, but you definitely throw the barrels off. Um, they're gonna hit some of the other creatures. That's fine, um, as long as they hit something. Yeah, there's a whole bunch down there, so they just kind of like hit one of the creatures and all the oil just explodes all over them. Same awesome. with Valens, um, or Valens, that will, no, cause he's helping, so yeah. Um, that was a, with advantage, right? Yes, I okay. rolled a yeah. one um, yeah, so both barrels poof, splatter all over. There's a large area now that can be lit on fire. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you light a torch or whatever it is. I would and have me and Valen light torches. Cool. You light the torch and immediately all these things catch on fire as well as the ground around it. Um, you hear the agonizing screams of these creatures. Some of them try to like um, douse the flames 
but they can't, so they start running off. And now you see several of these creatures run off just on fire, just freaking out. Um, and you can see as they go out, there's just more of these creatures surrounding you. Blue dynamite time. Okay. What is the rest of you doing? I think they're waiting for the enemies to be restricted by the blue dynamite. Yeah, I said I was going to help with barrel. Oh. With oil? Yeah. Oh, okay. So an even larger area then. So uh -huh. a lot of these creatures are on fire and in front, this whole side of this ship um, is just now, okay. or at least the bottom part, not the ship itself, is just yeah. flames. There is just a wall of fire Good. between you and these creatures now. Who That's needs a are. wizard? We got this! Macau and I are going to light off the blue dynamite sticks. One side, take a healing potion. Yes, take a healing potion. <laughs> take a healing potion? What are you doing? Uh, are you flying around or what are you doing? I'll probably fly around and I'll start like, God, casting I... like level three magic Wait, missiles. Cause I you... was thinking of doing tidal wave, but we're using fire and we're do not getting rid of that. Do you have chain lightning? No. Fuck. I know that would have been really good. It's just columns. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, Chain lightning is super good for you that instance. Make me an arcana check. This thing was just like taking to the skies, raining missiles. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm at the big boy. Arcana, okay. Force damage is going to be our best. Mm. No. No, that's inspiration. Okay. On. Come on. I don't think that's right. Ah! <laughs> Same fucking vault. <gasps> Eleven. Okay. I mean, it was a wrong. relatively easy DC, so that'll work. Okay. Um, while the creatures are surrounding the ship and everyone's uh, frantically trying to prepare these defenses, the wall of fire bursts open. Um, you remember what these creatures are afraid of. They're not necessarily afraid of fire. They were afraid of your light. That's right. Yep. That's all the information I'll give you with that roll. I don't know how to infuse any of my magic with my light consciously. Yeah, I don't have Try it. Mm. Try it. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> also, they you sense that... life energy, and that's like, you know, like that and Bastion of Law are like, like I still have that, like, like one thing of Bastion of Law on me mm -hmm. currently. Mm -hmm. and you said that they were the ones who did catch fire were freaking the fuck out. And they were like... yes, but it was, you would assume because they were on fire. On fire, yeah. The creatures around them, they are not going in the fire. The fire is hurting them, but they are not like Frankenstein afraid of fi that okay, fire. Okay, because I was like, just light in general. I'm maybe, just but... reminding him yeah. that the way he was able to escape during yeah. his um, fun times. Um, when she was in the fun land. Yeah, in the fun land, uh, the meat land, uh, <laughs> the dead meat land, um, was because you had the aura of light around you. Yeah because they innately come from a place that has no light. So that scared them. Yep. I don't That's know all. if any of us could really have good divine light lying around. That was just all I was saying. Okay. And if I can fuse my magic missiles with that light, it's just holy The best arrow. I can do is sacred flame. I just want to bring some holy arrows down. You can, I'm, listen, I can be convinced if you come up with a good way or explanation of how it could work or something that you could do that could infuse light into your magic missiles. I'm all for cool shit. Yeah, all right. Take a deep breath. I focus on my son. I okay. try to focus on his light, that gold light that poofed out when I wanted it to. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I fight 
that with my boy. boy. Roll a d20 with boy. proficiency as a sense life check, essentially. Really should save that inspiration. Oh, no, it's such a good roll. No, it's such a good roll. It's such a good roll. Like, it's such got, a good roll. You got a 17. 12. No, you got a 17. 12 is You got badass. a 17. 12 is hot as fuck. 12 does not surpass no, but like the a 12 DC. like really horny. <laughs> All right, I'll try again next turn. Sorry, I'll try again. Oh. I'll try again next turn. So if you want to <laughs> cast magic missile, you're able to. But as you were like mm-hmm. flying in the air, um, about ready to cast, you try to focus that energy, sense your son's heartbeat. But there's so much going on. There's so much noise and chaos, and that. <sighs> The event that took place with Ambrose kind of still lingers in your mind. There's so many things going on that you're just not able to focus enough Mm -hmm. to get it to work. So it won't work this round. Okay. Yeah, so I'll still use that that first level three slot. Okay, sure. I'll just... Yeah. Yeah. Um, You guys can see from above... Um, light begin to form before forceful missiles just into the ground, um, exploding the bone-like ground and sending these creatures flying off um, all around. Okay, so um, magic missile automatically tracks, right? No rolls? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so... Um, we're gonna roll for the other guys. What are they doing? Woo! Those are very good rolls. Um, wonderful. So, Manon on the ballista, um, you would see she fires it off, and as it goes through the flames, you see that she has attached um some of the sail to the ballista and it catches fire as it goes through and lodges itself into one of the creatures immediately just like destroying its chest and then setting the other creatures around it uh, ablaze. Um, You would then hear the loud just of a cannon being blasted out, just taking out a line of these creatures. Um, Okay, so I believe that is everyone's roll except for Ambrose who's gonna roll, that is gonna hit. Pretty damn good. Uh, Ambrose keeps firing off uh, Eldritch Blast, actually uh, dealing with some of the creatures that are now climbing on the side of the ship. Um, So he is uh, actively focused on defending the ship from the creatures getting on. So currently, um, no creatures have boarded your ship for this round as you have um, done very well defending it. So this would be considered like the second round of combat. Top of the round, you would hear a large roar coming from that bipedal creature, um, and you would see um, some of the parasites around him begin to charge and then both split off and start rushing the opposite side of the ship where there is no fire and be climbing up. And you hear Ambrose, um, little help over here. I'd I run over. <laughs> Nah. Okay, creatures. Oh, Do we have? If more you're running over there, I'm gonna run to the opposite side. Yes. Yeah, I'll go over I'm, to Amber's area. I'm going to the opposite side. Okay. So, creatures are starting to climb up and almost World War Z style, just Whoa. like on top of each other. The dynamite. Try to like get them off of Space Marine too. Some of them off the ship. The what? Termagants from Space Marine too. I have not played it, so I don't know. Use it. Yeah. I sorry. I will at some point. When they all let when all the Tyrannians come together and make a little pile and they all start climbing the walls. Yeah. Anyway. Sure, um, yeah. I'm it's so funny to hate I love it my side. And they're all and the, the mound of them that's like helping the others to get up, they're all like shifting and moving around and they're all climbing up the way. It's really gross and I love it. And you get to like <laughs> down at them and there's just blood <laughs> and guts going on. Like, like, it's really fun. Hell yeah. Um I will go over to where some of them are starting to climb up the side of the ship. Mm. Um, And I will, like where I, just to check, because I will determine which action I take. Are they, the ones that are coming up on the side of the ship, are they already on the side of the ship and on their way up? Yes. Okay. Um, What would you say with the dynamite thing? Would you say that's an action, bonus action, free action to interact with an object? It, it, it It would be an action. 
I can't do that unless... Because think of it as kind of like a spell, I guess. So yeah, it's an action. Would I be able to use that on some of the parasites that are still on the ground and then, because I don't remember exactly, I'm just double checking how this works because it's been a second, use a key point to do flurry of blows or do I have to make an attack I think you to do Well, bonus, you can bonus action attack and then flurry of blows? Mm, no, because no. the flurry of blows is two unarmed bonus action. I think I will, in order to use your key points, you have to hit. Well, I'm not sure. I don't think so because I can do no, patient No, because step of flurry of the blows just gives okay. you um, an extra, extra attack. Yeah. So I always assumed is if you bonus action attack, you can then flurry of blows, but I am looking... Um, when you attack with an unarmed strike or... Uh, or make one on you can use bonus action. That's not key. Flurry of blows. Immediately after you take the attack action on your turn, you can spend one key okay. point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Am I correct in assuming that throwing a stick of dynamite at people is not an attack? Or would I have to? It's... Uh, yeah. I think it's use an item. That is, yeah, use object, so no. Okay. Um, then I will use... How far up are the creatures that are climbing up the side of the ship right now? Are they within melee range of me? If I'm on the side. Sure, they can be, yeah. Okay, then I will throw the- if, they, if, if you are not successful or nothing is done, they will be on your ship yes. on the next turn. Okay, so then I will throw the dynamite at some of the dudes that are still on the ground starting to come up to the side of the ship. Sure. And it makes some sort of foam that impedes movement. It keeps them stuck there. Yes. And you have to like chop that shit to get it to go away. I think yes. That's how it works. You gotta like really get in there. Yes. Um, so I will do that and then just do a normal unarmed bonus action punch at the nearest guy who's coming up. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so you throw the dynamite. Throw the dynamite down, and as it makes contact with one of the creatures, it just explodes, and a whole, we'll say like 15 feet of foam just poosh yeah, outwards. It was, it was big. It, it's a decent size explosion, um, impeding not only the creatures from getting up more, but stopping any creature that was caught in the blast. So creatures trying to get onto the ship, like their foot is caught, and you can see one of them like, and then Boom, and then it just stops moving and it looks down and its entire like foot is caught in this foam and it cannot break out of it. Okay. And then as I go to start kicking at the fuckers mm -hmm. that are climbing up for the unarmed attack, I'm telling everyone to blast the ones that are in the foam, but specifically where they're not, it's not hitting the foam. Sure. Does that he, make sense? He definitely gets advantage for that. Wow, that's a natural one and a natural 20. Good job, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then I'll kick it because I'm essentially going to have you do the same thing. That's decent damage. Okay, he starts blasting the ones that are uh, like incapacitated. So 13. Uh, to hit? Yeah. Does not hit any of the creatures. Okay. Well, they're getting on the ship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing, Ornette? I did my best. Learning to we the other side of the ship. Okay, hard. okay easy okay. enough. Barrage, follow, please. On it. And I'm gonna do ex probably the exactly the same thing. So I'm Just gonna start cleaving. throwing, oh. throwing the dynamite down at the other one, the other side of the ship. Okay, so Macau already did that. So are you just trying I to make more of an explosion? Split off, and we're coming at both sides. Yes, they're coming around the opposite side of the ship. Oh. Wall. So ship. One has wall of fire, one now has the exploded dynamite. They just, most of them split off and are going around. That's okay, so I mean. Macau already handled the other group that was trying to. Most of it, yes. There's still more, so you could throw more of the movement impeding dynamite, or mm -hmm. you could try to take people out, it's up to you. There's still more creatures that are trying to come up on the same side. So essentially your options could be to direct your people um, to defend the side of the ship, 
Um, or start doing other defenses or preparing other defenses, something like that. Yeah, I still stick with them. I'm going to throw another oil barrel down there. Make an athletics check, sure. Nope. That's sad. That's a pretty definitive and nope. You can ask for help and I'll give you advantage, but another crew member will be helping you. No, I'll just wait and do it. Try again later, because... Okay. It's a nine. You are able to bring up an oil barrel, uh, but you're not able to use it until the next round. Okay. Okay. Are the ones that were with the wall of fire, are they still making their way towards the ship? Uh, no, that's, we'll say that side is successfully defended, if that makes sense. Okay. So they will not be going on that then side. Then I'll of the go ship. help Macau in defending the side of the ship. Cool. Okay. Um, what are you doing exactly? Just we'll making try. attacks? Yeah. Sure. Some bitches uh, fall. go ahead and make attack rolls. Can I be stupid? Oh, God. Hey, that's up to you. I was stupid, but also, the, hey, that that brought me down into the single digits of the hit points until I took my healing potion, so. Uh, <laughs> that well, is- I have a shit ton more hit points. <laughs> well, I know, but also there's so many of them, so that, I mean, it's up to you, but just take that into consideration. I regret my choice maybe that much, <laughs> but. Yes, I know, I know you. I know who you are. I'm not <laughs> stupid. I know what you're thinking. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, since you, dog. I might need First to off, I'd like to rage. I might okay. wait on that until the situation gets huh? a bit more dire. I know it's already dire, but until it gets a little more dire. Fine. It's just a suggestion you don't have to listen to me. And I won't be mad if you don't listen to me. <laughs> I'd rather them attack me than you. I know. We'll, we'll do. All right, I don't mind. We'll keep it safe for right now. Okay. We're just gonna do two <laughs> regular attacks. Uh, 18, 19 to hit. Those definitely hit. And then a uh, eighteen to hit. Hits. Oh my god, what is a D ten? Nineteen slashing damage. Okay, uh, we're not so much counting damage, just okay. if you hit. Yeah. Um, more so of like a gimmick fight, I guess. Awesome. But you are able to uh, help Macau and Ambrose uh, defend the side of the ship from most of the creatures from getting up. Okay. Um, what are you doing? <sighs> Magic missile. Level three. Okay. Very Do you good. Don't don't hit the foam. Don't hit the. Don't hit the foam. Don't hit the foam. Right. Don't hit the, hit the foam. I will just hit them. Yeah. yeah. Really. Hit the sense. exposed parts. Yeah. Not I will exposed. hit. I will hit shadow flesh. Shadow flesh. I want to try to cut. Like, That's what they call me. I want to try to feel that light once more. Okay. Do this. Hey, cut me some fucking slack. No. It's been a rough week. I will not excuse bad jokes. I'm not using my Please! No. Oh my god. No wonder why. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Oh. The dice that got you for you last year. Triple Fredo! I realized something was fucky wucky. I realized something was, I realized something was fucky wucky. Alright. Remember, you guys do have your advantage that you can use on attack rolls because of Ornan. Huh. Does it count as an attack roll? What? What are you using? Magic missiles? Connecting with yeah. the light? Yeah. Really? Magic missiles don't yeah. need no, I know, attack rolls. Connecting, with, connecting the light. with the light. Oh, um. Uh, I would. I'll say if you want to use it, go ahead. I feel motivated to reach that light. <laughs> <laughs> sure, this could be your advantage. I'll give yes. you that since you've been using magic missile. Please, please. Thank you. I feel no it. No Kalima, so I don't know if that's going to work. Kalima! Uh, give me your energy. Kalima. I take can it, feel take it. it. Take it. Take it's all ready. Take it. Take it. Go. Please. Ah! No, I didn't see it. 
He didn't see it. DM didn't see it. The DM didn't see it. It's one of those days oh, in which no. we're all gonna die. Like, no. every- Everything's <laughs> fucked. No. Everybody sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I can't it's fucking focus said, today. <laughs> Hold on, if this works, what? if this works, hold on. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't understand. You, you wouldn't understand. This was a 13, so it's better. It is better. It does not meet the DC. <laughs> Even with double hold advantage. Give me, give, me, give me your die. Give me. Yes, yes. Where's the fucking jail? They all need to go in there. It's we gonna, have a bigger dice jail. It's going to be on this Understood. final. It's going to be on this final for a What happened to the one that it's I was going to buy? Ideal. It's gonna Besides be the fact that I went broke, so, what is that? I need that. Eve, as you're flying overhead, uh, Ornan commands you to hit the parasites um, that I think are connected to the phone. Is that what you said, Ornan? What? What did you tell Eve to do? Um, to hit the creature on the side of the ship, but specifically avoid the foam. Oh, okay, yeah. So you do exactly that. A barrage of magic missiles just boom. <laughs> But before you cast it, you try once again to connect. But as you try to connect, could you motherfuckers? I, I will. I will pimp slap the shit out of you. I have to finish my sentence. I'm on the spectrum. I have to finish my sentence. They have to charge my baby. Okay, understood. It, it, it is, it done, is it done charging? I just yeah. fucking hope so. Wonderful. So. As you're trying to connect once again, you take a brief moment to pause before you send a barrage of missiles. Um, Ornan disrupts you uh, to direct you to throw the missiles. And after that, the connection is lost again and you just instead go for the attack. Um, Ornan, jump up my mouth! (laughs) Okay. I'm trying to focus over here. So, other characters. Um... Manon is going to fire uh, another ballista. Ooh! Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> real, real good. Um, she's able to fire it at an angle that disrupts the pile of parasites um, and blows a ballista right through them, um, destroying a majority of them with that natural 20. Um, Vicky is done tying her nets together and she goes over and you can smell oil on these nets. And as she throws it yeah! over, a mirror lights it on fire Amazing. and just a fiery net just woof, just expands yeah. across lighting everything up and drops on the creatures that are stuck from the yeah. sticky dynamite. And you can hear again the screams as these things are just being charred alive um, by this burning net. Um, okay. Thank God we have cool people with us to save the day. Um. They're so good. They're so good to us. They're so good to us, man. Okay, uh, Valen also joins you on the edge of the ship, and you can see, um, he, his entire body is now glowing with the blue lightning marks, and you can see oh, him that. pulling lightning, like, from the sky, just shh, 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 shh. Um, what yeah, is it though? Yeah. 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 But the way things have been going, I don't, I don't have high hopes for this. Reaction, guidance. 17 without guidance. Fuck. Well, that was a waste I of I could reaction. still do guidance, though. I already said it. it. You don't need to. Okay. Um, you see Valen approach and you uh, uh, hear the like static around him of electricity. And then he holds his hand up, clenches his fist and pulls his fist down. And you see from the clouds, um, blue light begins to form before lightning comes crashing down. And for a moment, as the lightning flashes for a brief moment you think you see ditch on fire but then you are pulled back to the chaos um from the yelling of your allies and even ornate oh you are immune to fear so that wouldn't have done anything for you i don't uh, did i get that <gasps> no effect? you weren't because of, yeah you weren't on the ship so that's yeah. right thank you um but because of ornan directing people at this point in time kind of brings you out of it yeah. um so you kind of like shake yourself out of it um okay so this side of the ship is uh, defended because you guys were able to keep them off. Um, 
at this point in time, you hear the roar of this creature again, and these things don't know what to do at this point in time. Both sides um, are now successfully defended. Um, okay, so uh, you see some of the creatures actually start to retreat from the ship, but this thing stands resolute by the fire, wall of fire, um, and as some of you kind of look, it just stares you down. And it looks like one of these creatures, almost in an evolved <coughs> form, standing on uh, two legs. Again, instead of like its head being an amalgamation of skulls, it's like its entire shoulders and backs are just, it's like a hunchback of just skulls grafted into its bone-like skin. Um, long sword-like claws, this large uh, mouth uh, slobbering just like this acidic, drool and it just stands there as the rest of the creatures some of them on fire just like running past it retreating back into the darkness before it takes a couple steps back and retreats yeah fuck off (laughs) bitch all right you guys were able to successfully defend against these horde of creatures trying to board the ship Oh. Is everybody all right? I'm fine. I'm just processing what the fuck just happened. What what the fuck did just happen? Demons? What what what, what did the, I do? What was the um Turn to Ambrose and just point back to where everybody came. What was that? What was that? What that I, what, what was that? I, I, I just felt a, a, like a surge of energy, like raw power. And, and then I heard Ryak, he, he spoke to me, cool. telling me that this, place is almost like hollowed ground for him specifically. So many people fear this place and he said if only I could harness the power I can I can use it. And so you tried to? We tried. You didn't think that that might be a questionable or... I thought it would help. You saw how many they were. I thought if I could just get a little more power, I could stop them. You know that power comes with a price. Of all people, you should know that. You kind of see him um, almost for once defeated without really any words to say. Um... It's like your words just penetrated straight to his heart. And it's just like he's, he understands what he did, but you can tell that he also thought he was helping. I'm not mad. Like, I understand where you're coming from. Just be careful. Don't be a hero, Ambrose. Says you. Yep. Yeah, you. Yep. No, I know. <laughs> I'm fully aware. I'm not blowing shit out of my ass. I'm just. Because that was stupid. <laughs> Don't do that again. You she also have to you. remember that you're you're not fighting alone. I know I'm not fighting alone. I just wanted to help more. No, I... Ambrose, you're a huge help around here. I hope you know that. It's like the only... You should be getting stronger for... Yourself? He offered me power. And he said... If I could harness it, I thought I could. I 
guess I can't. So, so I'm sorry. It's just sorry. something that you have to, you just have to work on. Maybe just not right now, and you know, also maybe not when we're actively in a spooky, ooky, ooky situation. Well, I think that, I think uh, that's why death. he got the extra power was because yeah. of the place that we're in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not in a fun place. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I mean, like, super fucking dangerous for sure, but... I get uh, why people look with this place like the fucking play. It's kind of... Co- <laughs> I like the play because they're parasites. Uh, but it's, it's cool. Hey, guys, we're on a skull. That's crazy. I I think it's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Vicky starts <laughs> <laughs> talking. I what? I immediately knew it was her ass. I, I mean, did you see that the net... The fire. That was fucking that, crazy. That was, that was sick as shit. My that idea. Was that, was that was my sick. idea. Man, that, um, was, that, was, that was pretty cool. That, yeah, that, that was, was sick as shit. I think hey. that was really cool. Hey, fuck yeah. I yes, love. I yeah. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Scared. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad that we were on the same page with the fire. Hmm. Said I'm glad that we were on the same page with the fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a great mind think alike. Eh? Sure. Also, what was that thing? What, what is what is that? And she points towards the foam, with the other oh, burnt bodies of the creatures. Uh, just... I uh, wish we had a proper explanation uh, for that. Um, uh, crazy, crazy man went. Scientist guy. Scientist inventor. was like the, the, the inventions, and he, he liked us, and so he gave them to us uh, and uh, um, we dealt with something similar. Not the exact same thing as the parasites that are here, but they're like black loop. We, we were supposed to use them in a different fight, but yeah. then we just didn't end up using them because- yeah. The circumstances yeah. didn't call for it. They, I just wanted to know what very, it was, not the whole history of it, but there are, thank you. They're very it's good, con- oh, they're very good uh, crowd control. <laughs> I, I gathered that. Some yeah. sort of foam shit. Yeah. I do. Just let, just let him do what he needs to do. He, okay. Yeah. Very cool. I'll have to go find this guy. I think I could use some of his stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I don't think he's home. Oh, so now it's, and now it's a secret. Now no. I don't get to know. No, it's, it's not, not a secret. It's more so that it, you've dealt with me. And I've dealt with you. We've dealt with each other in the last 24 hours, okay? He got on my nerves. He's fucking insane. He's crazy. He strapped the dynamite to my arm. Yeah. I like this guy. He had... I'm not gonna say that. He's just weird. He's, he's crazy. A, he's a lost cause, though. Yeah. Huh. I feel like he can do some great stuff. He just goes about it in a very odd manner. Oh, his poor well, assistant. I'm gonna look for... So, so stuff. Things that I can get my hands on. Yeah. Okay. And she kind of just walks away with a torch. Oh, okay. <sighs> there's another um, one of these. I point to my pocket where I told her I put the gun, like my little bag. Um, there's another one of these, but like bigger downstairs, downstairs. Uh, Amir goes, you found one of those downstairs. Yeah, I found this one. Vicky, let's go exploring. And okay, bye. Bye. I, I had more exposition, but <laughs> nah, I don't need it. <laughs> Not gonna learn. I Can we do a trade of switch for switch? Um, so Manon and then Valen would also kind of like group up with the rest of you. Um, <clears throat> well, that was exciting, but um, I think now that we are. Um, Safe? I don't know if that's even the right word to use Secure? here. Not Secure in, for now. Not in immediate danger? Yes. Yeah. We can catch a breather. Um, perhaps now would be the best time to get some rest. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can take <sighs> second watch. Do we want to double up on watch? Some of my crew can watch if we like to double up. Can have a that would be wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doubling up. Just to make sure that all sides, we have a pretty large area to uh, secure. Yeah. yeah. I'll take one of those watches. I can take the second watch and double up with somebody. I'll take a watch. Hmm. Um, Man says she'll go on watch with you. Um, 
Valen will go with you. And then are you taking third watch? Yep. Um, you have Amir or Vicky that can take watch with you or Mikau if you want. I want to keep an eye on Ambrose for a little bit. Or Ambrose, so I forgot I about Ambrose. Okay, cool. So, I was no like, one I wants was gonna Vicky. Be, if, if somebody else didn't take a watch, I was going to be like, me and Ambrose will take the other watch because I'm watching his ass. <laughs> okay, so Sorry. you guys are at a resting yeah. point. Is there anything you want to do before getting your long rest in? Should I try to communicate with Candy? I don't know if now's the right time. I miss her so much. No, I just it's not Candy anymore. I know. Yeah, that's why I'm like, that is gut wrenching. No. That is. I'm not gonna think. Because about it. I was like, because I I truly want to see by asking her what her favorite colors were, which were green and pink. Mm -hmm. Remember. Yep. Remember <laughs> Alright, so what are you oh. guys what are you guys doing? Ooh. I wanna talk to her. Map that can certainly try. Okay. Um <laughs> there, are other th there are things that I could do but I don't want to do here. I'm gonna wait to go to sleep until I am certain that Ambrose has fallen asleep, and then because of just how like <sighs> I am about the whole situation. I will probably wake up a few times throughout the night and be like, is he? Okay. And then I'll go back to sleep. Okay. So. So Dara and Macau will start to bed down for the night. What are you doing? in Mirage. What are you doing? I'll start to get ready for bed. Cool. And you, is there anything you want to do before taking your watch? Mm, no. Okay. Um, so you guys would kind of find places um, around the ship to sleep. Um... Ambrose would find like kind of like quiet spot and just kind of like he sits down and strangely looks disheveled, not put together. And he just kind of like leans up against a wall while he's sitting down, feet like kind of out, and he just kind of like slumps his head back. Like he looks defeated. Oh, is the word to put it. The same defeated as before, or like a different layer? <laughs> uh, an extended version ah, of defeated. De defeat part two. Yeah. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> okay. I'll wait for a little bit. Okay. And kind of just sit. <laughs> you could have just asked. <laughs> just, and I would have gone, yeah, absolutely. No! Except for sure, take one. Um, Here. Now I'm full of rage! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Sorry. That was a threat. A um, oh, threat. Five seconds. <laughs> this was a threat. <laughs> um, we'll make it out of here alive. My, okay. My bitch sure. bitch gonna bring her bitch that shit a triple threat. Um, I'm gonna- That's kind of cool though. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's not my words, but uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was simply my hand motion. I, I love how severe our ADHD is compared <laughs> to my other groups because my other group ADHD is go, 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 go. Yours is go, oh, I think of something. Ah, quip. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy my quip. Yeah. Anyway, back to the game. Yeah. Let's get back to the game. Um, uh, I will kind of like go near him, not exactly next to him, but just kind of in his area. In and his also bubble. lean up against the wall. I just kind of like lean there for a little bit. And if he doesn't say anything first, then I will say something. He doesn't say anything. Okay. I'm gonna sit there for a while, basically like giving him the opportunity to speak and also just exist in companionable silence. But hey, we're, this is Macau Shabal we're talking about. He's a certified fucking yapper, just mm -hmm. like me. So, uh, as you can tell. So I will just, what, hey, I will just chill for a bit. And then eventually, without looking at him. There's a whole lot of stuff I could say right now. A whole lot of questions I could ask. Please add to the voices that are already echoing out in my head. Okay, let's not go there. 
I understand you're not feeling the greatest about yourself right now, but don't try to passive aggressively manipulate me into not questioning some things right now, okay? That's my game, not yours. It does not look good on you. <laughs> And I don't know how this would uh, contribute to the voices in your head that are already losing their shit or whatever the fuck you said. I don't even remember because that's inconsequential. I was just going to ask why you look like you feel like shit. I can make some guesses, but... We need to be on the same page at this point. I keep thinking about the decisions I make. I th think I'm doing the right thing. And then backfires it goes wrong I'm starting to doubt myself doubt the decisions that I can make if there's someone else that can make better decisions I have So many people that I can turn into, adopt their mindsets, their personalities, their way of thinking. I am one of several, and I... <laughs> with all the voices in my head, with everything that I have, I still don't feel like it's good or enough <laughs> am I even making the decisions anymore Ambrose I thought that I was being cool and proving something seconds before I destroyed a significant portion of Dish and killed several people, including my own friends. And then I was left to die there because of that. And I didn't. So I've had to live with that, first off. I understand questioning the choices that you've made. I've been questioning a lot of choices that I've made over the last 10 years, so I get that. There's nothing wrong with that. I know that you've got a lot of people up there. And sure, there might be someone else in there that could maybe have come up with a, don't take this the wrong way, but a better solution to what just happened. But if you stuck with who that is, whoever it would be, they are going to fail in an area where maybe Ambrose would have done a good job. Or maybe Honey would have done a good job. I don't want to fucking say it, but maybe Cam would have done a good fucking job. You s I understand questioning your choices. At this point, that's kind of par for the course. I am still thinking about what I did and I can't go back and do anything about it. I can't. Lingering on what already happened and letting it affect how you behave now is gonna fuck shit up even further. You need to use it, not stew in it. Beat the shit out of yourself for no fucking reason. 
I don't like looking at it, okay? It's not visually appealing. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's looking visually appealing, so I guess... Mm-hmm. Don't fuck that up. I don't... Well, I mean, hey, that's one thing I don't think you could fuck up, so... <laughs> what is that one for? See, you smiled for a second. That's already better. You never failed to surprise me. I hope you know that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I was reading that right. Okay, cool. Didn't know. It's strange to see how you have evolved. You seem so much, so different from when I first met you. From when you first stepped out of that cell. And I was introduced to this vitriolic tiefling. Okay. And now you're the one giving me the motivational speech. And hey, we've got other people around them learning shit. Oh. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe I'm feeling more motivated. What are you- what? What are you laughing at? You see... His facial and body language begin to soften um, throughout the time that you've been speaking with him. And now you see that he... um, There's a sense of comfort about him now. Even in this place of dread and death as of right now there is this bubble of comfort which kind of like harkens back to the times where you and him spent nights like this together um but in a different way where it was ambrose perhaps giving you the motivational speech or talking to you but now it's flipped around Mm. and you can see that like expression on his face and you have this understanding that it's like old times. Learn from the best. And I'm still learning from you. God, I hope not. Jesus. (laughs) I've learned a lot from you. But well, I don't like what that implies that I've, I'm some sort of sage of something. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, not sage. Oh, <laughs> you read that one wrong. Okay. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> I was just okay. Cool. Oh come on. You need someone around you to humble yourself. What would happen to that ego if I wasn't here? I'm pretty sure it would explode. Oh. Like a fireball, God. but like. Oh. Bigger. Oh my god. See, I'm pretty sure I people decide, would be affected by that. I, I decide to be nice to you and I try to encourage you and then you go straight back to fucking giving me shit. This is my rule. That's the second thing I do best. And as he says that, he leans over and places his head on your shoulder mm-hmm. and closes his eyes. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'll chill. And now I'm pissed because I have to stay. <laughs> like this. Oh my god! I can't move. So I'm slightly propped up against the wall. I'm like. Ambrose gets more comfy as he kind of like wraps his arms around himself and like. Um, nudges further in and Period. leans more of his body weight on you before he begins to fall asleep. Period. Which is 
a horrifying thought because he doesn't have people touching him. So I'll just be like, if I move, I fuck this up. <laughs> so I'm not moving. Period. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, first watch. Go ahead and make a perception check for me. I believe in you. Then I pass this without effect. <laughs> you won't bless my die. Oh, and I will see. Oh, that's see how you want to use it. Fucking god damn it! Ow. You did it. Did you? <sighs> so let's roll the, the dice. Dice lost its charge. Fuck. Um. Okay. That's that's fine. Fuck. I, I didn't want to see anything anyways. I had something else in mind. In mind. Okay. So you begin to patrol around the ship while everyone else is fast asleep. Um, as you get to the deck of the ship, um, you would see. Um, Actually, sorry, before you get to the deck of the ship, as you're kind of like patrolling the other, the bottom part, um, you would see Manon, who is awake, and you see uh, Vicky, who is like sleeping on top of a crate with like rags pulled like over her. And it's like half off. Ow! I forgot you were there. <laughs> um, it was like, it's like half off of her. She's kind of like just slumped on top of this crate, just body just all over the place. Hell yeah. Um, and the rag like falls off at some point and Manon, um, without hesitation, skipping a beat, picks up the rag and puts it over Vicky and then adjusts her limbs until she's fully <laughs> on top of this crate. And you just see her kind of like fold her arms just, and just kind of like, shake her head and as she like turns around you can see a slight smile on her face um before she looks up and sees you and then goes back to being like stoic and just kind of like almost what? glares at you uh oh someone has feelings oh, it's nice to see someone at peace that one in her own could sleep through anything <laughs> i mean seems like for such a small thing she has no fear whatsoever of anything it's surprising honestly and then you have the rest of them and she kind of like looks over and uh you see valen who is uh crossed armed uh leaning against the side of the ship his head down he's asleep um you see uh, Manon kind of like look around for a second before she finds kind of like a, like a coat of some sort, like a like pirate's coat. Um, and she like picks it up and like dusts it off for a second. It's, it's pretty torn, but it's still intact. And she goes over and puts it around Valen as well and kind of like pats it down and makes sure it's not gonna fall off of him uh, before she stands back up and looks towards Amir. Um, who is asleep in his own little corner and she just like nods and makes sure you can see her like actively making sure that each person is doing okay and is either asleep or comfortable but the moment she like returns to you she again goes kind of like stoic it seems very motherly like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. sense that. yeah protecting your nest mm -hmm. <clears throat> They're quite the family you have. It's a beautiful thing. I suppose, yeah. They are a handful. As they should. You have a sense about these things? You, uh... You're the one that looks after your crew? I think we all kind of have to look out for each other. Yeah, I suppose. <sighs> Maybe we should go patrol the top deck. Right. Just, mm -hmm. like, seat myself on my broom. Do, 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 do. 
It's <laughs> 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 flying circles around this bitch. Um, as you're flying around, you don't see anything, but um, Manon is just kind of like standing on one of the sides of the ship, crossed arm, just looking out. Um, wind kind of like blowing her hair off to the side. Um, you still see that she's wearing just kind of like almost like a uh, tank top type um, shirt and then like black cloth pants and boots. Um, you can also see that she does have like scars on her arms. Um, but yeah, she just kind of like looks out over everything, just kind of standing there. Um, but while you're in the air, you do not see anything. Right. Still get the sense that things are watching you, but that's about it. Yeah. I guess I'll fly back down and stand next to her. Like, I'll take a glance at her forearms. Mm-hmm. But just a glance, I don't want her to yeah. make her feel like I'm mm-hmm. being one of those people. Understood. During this time, I also like rest my hand on my heart and see if I can try to connect with that light again. Just trying to get some experience mm-hmm. with, because I'm need, I'm gonna need to get. Yeah, D twenty plus experience or experience proficiency. <laughs> it's a lot of experience. In this yeah. Moment. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Not twenty. There you are. Where the fuck have you been? I didn't expect you to pop up during this time where we're just <laughs> talking about trying it out. Where we're just fucking so, chill. So, what, what, what are you doing, yeah? You're a natural. Yeah. I just want to... I want to see if I can kind of manifest that light. Mm-hmm. And so I want to just like, like have my hand on my heart, feel the warmth, maybe have like the gears just start like like lighting up a little, being a little, a little uh, luminescent, start turning, and I want to like slowly pull my hand away from the heart to see if like a light comes with it. And it does. As you pull away, this golden light just, it's almost like thousands of tiny golden sparkles come together to form that sort of like line that golden line that you've seen before, that energy. There it is. You see man and like <laughs> look to you and then to the golden light and kind of like she softens for a second. What is that? It's, it's what those creatures fear. Light? Love. Love. Warmth. You see her kind of like almost take a step back, like a half step back. She looks like shocked and confused, but strangely like absorbed by this. And when you say those words, it does affect her. What do you mean? Son, I can one day absolve my greatest sin. The hope to move forward. Does does that work just for your son or for others? I have a, I have a heavy burden to carry. I. Uh, This is all of ethos. This is all of our light. Can I? 
she kind of like holds her hand out for a second just for like a, like a loss of words, not knowing what to say. And she just kind of like holds her hand out just barely in front of her. <clears throat> Can I see if I can feel my family. It's worth a shot. It's been really hard trying to tap into this energy on this island. But while we're here, come. She like looks at you and looks back down to the light. Now she kind of almost looks like a lost kid as she takes a couple steps towards you and then slowly and hesitantly reaches out her hand towards the light before she places it on you. And as she does, um, you feel this rush of just pure energy, the same energy that you would feel to sense others. And you can feel almost like her life force expanding out to try to find others. And the light like explodes from both of your hands and you see this these golden strands of light just whoosh, just out into the darkness reaching up into the heavens before they kind of like disappear into the clouds and she just kind of like looks and as she looks back down so do you and you can see figures manifest in the air you can see four children who are all playing together. And then um, you see each one of them begin to grow into adults before your eyes. You can feel Manon's energy change to that of um, almost like a bittersweet energy. You look over and you see that sh she has tears streaming down her cheeks as she looks over and she is smiling. Her stoic facade has dropped completely and you can see this <sighs> bountiful like love in her emotion for these four and she kind of like reaches out her hand towards these um four figures um before like golden light um begins to form a single strand from each of them and it reaches out towards her finger and touches the tip of her finger before it disperses you hear her take a breath for once. Like, before she steps back, still grasping onto your hand. And she looks towards you with red eyes and tears streaming down. And a smile gently at her. I can feel them. My family. I didn't think I would see them again. And as you kind of like look back out, um, you see um, like the figures have disappeared, but now there's a golden light that's kind of surrounding her and you see it flow down into the ship and you feel it connect to each member of her crew, which symbolizes that this is also a part of her family that she views as her family. Um, you ought to also feel as you're connected to her that her facade, her stoic uh, visage that she usually has on her, it's because she's so scared of losing them that she has done everything in her power to make sure that they are okay. And she's caring for all of them. We are all connected by this feeling. This is very 
very special. Thank you for sharing with me. We've had it in you all along. Sometimes it just takes another to just... Um, you see her like look up at you and then kind of get lost for a second uh, before she comes back to reality and just gives you a big hug, just embraces you fully. <laughs> Um, you can kind of feel her like forehead, like just briefly nuzzle into your shoulder before she lets go. You're a lot like me. Different, but you care for your family, as do I. I would die to make sure that they're okay. I feel as if you would do the same. I can't let down my family again. Yeah. I'm right here to make it right. The four you saw they were my siblings. I was the oldest out of all of them, and mom and dad, <clears throat> when they passed away, I had to look after them. They grew up so fast right before my eyes. And after they all left, I didn't know what to do anymore. I spent my childhood looking after them. And I felt like that was my purpose. After they all left, I went searching to find someone else to care for. That's when I found Valen. Alone. Hurt. I took care of him. I don't want to lose any of them. I know I can't succeed, especially in this place. But I will do whatever I can. Especially to make sure that Valen sees his little brother again. And as she kind of like, she turns and begins to walk away before she rushes back and just gives you another hug. <laughs> before she lets go and then just puts on that stoic face, kind of like wipes away her tears and goes, <clears throat> okay. And she turns around and begins walking again. Back on duty. Okay. Is there anything else you want to do while you still have this light down here? I think I want to fly up to... Uh... What is the little thing on the ship where... Like the crow's nest? The crow's nest? Crow's nest, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you were talking about. I want to fl- yeah, thank you. The, 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 the man of the binocular place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Land ho! <laughs> what did you just call it? Rocks! Yeah. Off the starboard bow! <laughs> Land comma ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fly up there and... Can I see the moon? Or is it... There is no moon. There is no... Oh, oh. Rule number one. There is no moon. <laughs> <laughs> there are stars. Thank the gods there's no look at the <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, <they> <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Okay. It's been a it's been a while. Is that a girl? <laughs> um I guess I'm gonna hold on to this. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly up to the crow's Yeah, I'm just gonna fly up to the crow's <laughs> okay. nest and just hold on to the light and look up at the stars and just have a good old smile. So, the golden light would part the clouds and you would see the starlight peering down and you can see the strands of golden light just going out and arcing every which way, connecting to the life forces on Ethos. 
you detect one string in particular that glows a little brighter. You know that it's connected to your son. In fact, because you rolled so damn high, the light pulsates the beat of his heartbeat. Which differs from the rest of the strings because you are so connected to it. And I like subconsciously just like realize that I'm subconsciously like my hand is pulsating to the same Mm -hmm. rhythm. Is that all you want to do? Yeah, I'm just going to feel hopeful until the end of my okay. shift. Okay, yeah. And then once the shift is over, I'm back. Again. Yeah. <laughs> the light would begin to fade after a while as you start to kind of lose connection. That energy starts to wane. But your shift ends and you're able to tap out the next person. I'll see you soon. Okay. Ornan, you are... You are awakened! Amazing. Rise! Rise from Arise! Ye tarnished! Ye dead do yet live. Oh! Rise now! Ye tarnished! Is that what he said? Oh, rise! Ye tarnished! He says this, he's like, ye tarnished! Yeah. It's, it gets a little southern, he, but also Scottish. Great fucking, so fucking good. legendary voice actor. I don't know who he is, but goddamn. Watch I, me ride the fuck in. I'd like, kiss damn. him. I'm kissing you on the mouth. Yep. Okay, so you are awakened. Um, and then Manon, you would see go over and kind of like gently shake Valen awake, who would be like, <clears throat> ah, yeah, thanks. And so Manon would kind of like switch spots and start to fall asleep. And then Mirage would... Go to sleep somewhere. So, okay. you and Valen are awake, so go ahead and make a perception jug. Eight. Wonderful. <laughs> I see. We both see Jack all. <laughs> wow, look at those stars. Oh, this is What did you just made out of? Okay, so. Oh, I did it. That, oh, I detected the wood. Wow, crazy. <laughs> I think that's a Man, I wonder where they sourced the wood from. That's crazy. Yeah, where they sourced it from? Oh my god, you think oh. they got it from Aegis? Wow. Ah, this smells nutty. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a nice nutty wood. Sorry. There's a dandelion must be lashing on the season. That was funny. That tickled me. Okay. What you, I will slap you. What are you doing? Um, just starting to start walking the parameters of the boat. Cool. Yeah. Um, you start patrolling around the boat, um, not seeing or hearing anything, but um, like everyone else, uh, still get the sense that something is watching you from afar. Um, at some point, uh, Valen would kind of walk up beside you, kind of like leaning on the, the railing, just like looking out and yeah. for looking over and just... You are, um, quite the tactician, yeah? Uh, I try to be when the the time is right. Have some experience in battle? Yeah. Born and raised in Igis. Really? That's a harsh environment. Try to survive. You know, I grew up right here on the Sonoray Sea, actually. How was that for you? Good for a while. And then, um... Well, we're here now. (laughs) Can I tell you a secret? Go for it. I'm no leader. These people see me as their captain and I... 
I'm not, but you were able to take charge at a moment's notice, command everyone, and look, we're all safe because of you. I, I can yell, I can speak loud, but really, I'm just as terrified. I mean, as am I. You and I are a lot more similar than you think. This... Yeah. No? <laughs> what... What you saw was... It was instinct, but... Uh, I... I was terrified. I just... I didn't want to lose anybody. I've... I, I've lost a lot. And honestly, I'm trying. I'm trying to get better. And the the people that I'm that I'm with are they're uh, they're helping me through it. And uh, whew, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the people who are around me. But I am not a leader. I have I've failed. Many times. I see. Well, Onan, you are a great warrior. And... Well, most of the time you don't look like you're afraid, so I don't know how you are able to pack it all away, but... Um, yeah. Rage. <laughs> Uh, this is what I've been surviving off of for the past two years. Wow, you and I are very similar then. I mean, this, and he like gestures to his markings. This all happened all at once. The God of Storms chose me for what reason I still don't know. It was on the day that my brother vanished. <laughs> it's on the same day my mother died too, so... Not only that, but now <laughs> the entire fucking anamnesis conglomerate thinks that I'm a murderer. A lot of people, too. I don't... I don't think you are. Well, I could try to convince everyone that I'm innocent, which is the truth, but only a few people believe me. And these lot see me as their captain. Some people... Enjoy fire! They'd even sacrifice their lives for me. And I say that I would, but I, I, I don't think I could. How does one face death? How is one comforted when the god of death takes your hand and takes you away from this world, never to see your loved ones again? What peace does that bring? Even if Kathek judges you and you rest in eternal peace, I'm still not here. I'm terrified. All I want is my brother back so I can leave. 
leave this life. Go back to when it was simple, when I was just a blacksmith. It's all... It's okay to be scared. A lot of people are scared for an enormous amount of reasons. Have it be just an innate fear or just having a tragic event that kind of struck too close to home. Just like for me, you're scared of dying. For fuck, I'm scared of arrows. They fucking terrify me. Arrows? I mean, they are a deadly weapon in the right hand, so... Something must yeah. have happened to you to be afraid of that. Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> I told you mine. I promise I won't tell a soul. I'm not... I'm not the great man. Um... How, mu how much do you know about Aegis and the, the people who inhabit there? All I know is that they're the hardened people. That land is um, not for the faint of heart. Um, it's... Nomadic people. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I know a little bit about Skjolar, made by giants, inhabited by Goliaths now. That's, that's about it. So, um, there was a tribe called the Cold Haven, mm. led by my parents, and then they left, and then they gave it, they entrusted my sister and I. Mm. It, it was getting scary, and... I tried to toughen up and take the lead, and I wanted to take control of one of the trade routes on the bridges. And it's inhabited by beggars, thieves, murderers. It's not fun, but it, it's a way to get money. And during that, I ended up getting 200 people killed due to my ignorance and my rage and the duke of Skuller offered the remaining hundred that if they were to stop fighting they could come into Skuller and live a better life and they ended up leaving me behind i charged the duke i tried to kill him and i was taken down by a volley of arrows as i watched every single person that I cared about leave. I even ended up getting my own sister sister killed. I'm sorry to hear that. You thought you were doing what was best for your tribe. So, as I may not understand your fear, you may not understand mine. It's okay to be scared, and I understand the yearning for wanting a simple life back. Is that what you want? Yeah. I, I want to go and apologize for what I've done, and that is why I'm here. I'm working on myself, and I'm learning how to fight together as a group, again, with battling the fear of losing the people that I care about. And you're on the right path, Ronan. We all have misdeeds. Some bigger than others. But you are following a path of redemption and to better yourself for the ones you care about. Not just for yourself. It's a selfless act. <laughs> 
You're doing good, Ronan. So do you. I hope so. You may not call yourself a leader, but you have the words that touch the hearts of people. And sometimes it doesn't come down to your skill or like combat ability, but I can tell deep down that your words touch the hearts of your crew and that's why they call you a leader. I don't have those type of words. We don't really have a leader, so we all just kind of watch each other. But I can tell that there's something in you that that shines that you can lead so I believe in you you are also on the right path thank you for your words Sornan with that he like clasps you on the shoulder and just kind of like shakes you a little (laughs) bit and then and like stands up straight and you see him kind of like stretch before he looks out and pauses for a second. Fuck it! And as you look out too, you can s- It's strange for you because you can yeah. see a figure pretty far out. A white figure. Oh God, a white man. <laughs> I <laughs> Sorry. I just, <laughs> and the more you, <laughs> huzzah! I swear, <laughs> me when white man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I swear to so, God. Huzzah! No. Shut! Shut it! As you stare at this figure, it's almost like you can see clearly. Almost like you're zooming into this figure. The white dragonborn that you've met before. Yeah. He stands there. I didn't do anything wrong! Illuminated in the darkness of it all. And he simply looks out at you, gives you a nod, and in a flash, the figure's <sighs> gone and replaced with a dark silhouette. Oh. Sword like claws just. <laughs> And you see it like dip into the shadows before it moves away. Okay. After that, I'm going to make another round checking on all of them. They're all doing good. And at this time, your shift would come to an end. Okay. Unless there's anything else you want to do. Homeboy used a lot of words. It's bedtime for him. Yeah. <laughs> he says so much. That's a lot of talking for one man. Not Joss. Not Joss. Not Joss needs to go oh, so bad. Good morning. It's just the shot. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. Go to bed. Okay, good night. I just. Good night, sleepy. <laughs> just right next to Dara's bed while I'm just like. Steals his bed and just <laughs> yeah, essentially, essentially, I'm like half on, half off with a blanket over me, and I'm. You wanted Amir, right, with you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Valen goes and wakes up Amir before uh, going back and kind of resting <gasps> near Manon and falling asleep. Okay, but it's you and Amir. I love Valen so much. <laughs> I knew there was a reason why you gave me that man, and I was like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, good morning, Amir. Uh, I wish it wasn't. I agree. Is he not a morning person? The last I played, see the bus I see in this hell. Ah, there I am. It's still fucking dark out there. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start gathering some supplies. It shouldn't only be a moment. And he goes just like sleepily trotting off and gathering some stuff. What would you? Some coffee? (laughs) (laughs) He like peers back around the hallway. Do you have coffee? 
<laughs> I can probably find some. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for, I was expecting caffeinated tea. Just about 90% of all tea is caffeinated. Yeah. I was expecting you to offer tea instead no. of coffee. It's huh? a surprise. Well, no, we have been offered coffee multiple times on the couch instead. <laughs> all right, so, what you doing? I will set up off the deck, because it's probably rotten and flammable and terrible. Uh, off the side of the deck, I will set up a little fire, okay. uh, and then uh, while it water starts to boil, I will survey the land. Perception. Then... I said a lot of things. For seven, that's uh, 23. Very good. Okay. You don't see anything currently. Okay. Yeah, I will keep my eye out. We'll go down, make some more coffee, and then once it's all done, I'll bring the pot up and try and kick out the uh, smolder. Very good. Okay, you're able to do so easily enough. Um, Amir would like bring up to the deck like a small crate full of su- supplies that he's able to salvage from the ship. And he just kind of like sets it down, just. Ugh. Anything good? Hey, I mean, if you like booze, uh, alcohol, I found a little lantern. Don't know if that will come in use, but that's intact at least. Um, also, we found this, and I don't know if this is uh, something you would be uh, particularly interested in, but I, I do like this. Um, you see him drag up um the gear that macau would have found he sets it down and it's that like studded leather with the big like gauntlets and um big like metal boots in the backpack and he like sets it out and he just kind of like looks at it and goes that is a work of art i'll tell you my friend i'll give you that but is there someone in there oh no i took out the corpse this is just a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> What do you look like in there? Was y'all rotten and gross? Oh. <laughs> My bones? No, well, I'd clean it, but it's gorgeous. Hey, not only that, but and he pulls out the rifle. <laughs> this, this, this right here is a rifle. And this, these things are manufactured in prominence, so this has come a long ways. And now, this and he um moves over this like part of the armor and you would see uh a symbol um and underneath um you would see or it's like a it's like a patch and it would say prominence navy and then it has like the symbol of the navy on there of the what the prominence navy that's so this is likely a navy ship Aye, oh. most likely. Or at least whoever was piloting this was Navy, and this uh, uh, certainly looks it. Oh. Definitely came a long way. Aye, and if this is prominent Navy, this is high tech gear, my friend. I wouldn't know too well. I never visited prominence despite being relatively close. Aye, neither have I. Me and the. Uh, well, um, me and Brill really never traveled too far out past analysis, so. Yeah, I understand that. I originally born and raised in a small town. Hey guys, I forgot where I'm from again. It's in my notes, hold on. If, uh, You're from uh, Efflorescence. Huh? Lundmere. Lundmere, right. Lundmere, you were I just missed that. Yeah, a small town. It Lundmere. is in Efflorescence, so you are correct. Yeah, it yeah. is in Efflorescence. North of Efflorescence. Okay. Just north of Efflorescence, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lundmere, it's just barely in efflorescence. Oh, I think I've heard of it, yeah. yeah. Never been there, but... Cliff town, basically. Hey, uh... <laughs> how did you fare being in efflorescence? I've heard the the elves, especially down there, are uh, righteous pricks. Well, Lundmere is mostly human. Um, oh. The other note, I married one. Oh, <laughs> you married an elf! Nest, specifically. Oh, I missed Elf. Now that is interesting. So, uh, have you been to the Mistwoods? Is that, uh, is that what I'm hearing? I have. It's, it's a fun place. <laughs> I bet. 
I would Shit. never go there in a million years, and the I'm going you, to live a long time. The moment you get outside of civilization, portal. Really? It's creepy. I can't see shit. There's horrible voices. Well, I've only heard it's created by the God of Secrets, so I mean... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't find any of the secrets. That's for damn certain. Oh, well, I mean, if there's a God of uh, you know secrets, it's probably well hidden. Goal is to go back there someday. Why would you... Why would you want to go back? <sighs> it's where she was from, um, and... One day I should probably return her necklace to her parents, but that's another story. Oh, I, uh, no, I understand. I have a feeling that that which ails me ails you uh, requires me to go back to her home. I, I see. I think. Long story short, I'm dying of some sickness that killed my wife. He kind of like strokes his beard and kind of just like is taking it back for a second. Oh, I am. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. That is uh, that's quite devastating news, my friend. It's a lot to take in, but I've known for a bit. And so, what are you doing here? Living her final dream. That is beautiful. And what... What was her dream, my friend? We wanted to adventure together, so I'm setting out alone before... I expire. I see. I want to make her proud before I come join her and... Uh, join her by being judged by Cathect. Oh, my friend, I think... I don't think you have to worry about being judged all that much. I don't think so either. Ever so often the anxiety creeps in, but... <laughs> oh, there are a few that need to be worried, but... Uh, you, I don't... I don't think so. Probably not. I've helped enough people. Tried to prevent enough harm. I, I can see that. What happens here? Can't save everyone. It's the probably the worst burden I have. Is the I, desire to help and not being able to. I, I understand. Well, you know, uh, my sister Brill. She, uh, you know, she always wanted to. She wanted to travel too. Specifically, she uh, she loves the stars, and every night she would thank Zephelion for the stars in the sky. She had one wish, which was to climb to the top of Zephelion's mirror and gaze upon the still water. She wanted to see the reflection of the stars at her feet so she could feel she, sh she could grab the heavens herself. I fear she will never get the chance. But uh, What's perhaps stopping her? Well, Unless she survived the waters, then... Uh, I thought that was a different person. No, that was Brill. Brill. Oh, I definitely bye -bye. heard that. Yep. Bye-bye. That's okay. Yeah, I thought that somebody else went over. It's been a while. It's okay. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> hopefully we can find her, but there's no guarantees. Uh, my friend, if she was alive, I mean, look what we had to survive through. She is one person, and I know she's strong. But I think I've already come to terms with her 
demise. But like you, I could carry on her wish. I think once we're out of here, I will do just that. To honor her memory. It's a good goal. And getting to see the villain's mirrors by its own right oh. of her. I mean, that's all she ever talked about whenever she wasn't working, so... I've only heard every single little detail about it, at least what she's read and heard from other folk. So, I do hear that uh, every once in a while a, um, a group will travel there and, and take folks with them, so perhaps I can go along with them? Uh, I don't know. I'm certain you'll find a way there. Like you said, you've got a lot of time. I do. <laughs> I have a lot of time, so I, that's something I'll definitely be doing. But until then, I have a job to do, and that is uh, to get the fuck out of your life. It's a good goal. Mm. And I've. I have to make sure that Valen finds his brittle brother. Yeah. I cannot bear the loss of another sibling. No. Anyone's sibling. It is a. Uh... <sighs> well, it's hard. But I'll have time. To lose like that. But I'll have time to mourn once we're out. <sighs> Hell of a place. <clears throat> yeah. That's a, that's a kind of way to put it. Mm -hmm. He, um... He kind of, like, backs off and just kind of, like... Size and just find something to work on. And as he turns around to begin to leave, you start to hear footsteps. Something on all fours. Something's coming. What? I don't know. I hear it though. Shall but... I wake the others? <sighs> or wait? Wait a moment, see what it is, and then I'll let you know. Shh. <laughs> Wise. Hell yeah. He Hell starts, yeah, brother! He starts going to like the edge of the ship and like pointing down. Yeah, I'll send Dwayne out to try and circle around and I'll head to the other side of the ship where he's not. Okay. As Gawain is circling about, you see the silhouette of this four-legged creature which is like circling the ship. And at some point you see its eyes just kind of like stop and it looks up at you before you see another pair of eyes. Something is riding on top of this thing. <gasps> what am I? I see. Who's there? How far away? Pretty close. Roughly within 30 feet of the ship. Is this another one of the things? No. Does Gawain have dark vision? Well, probably. Uh, what is what is Amir again? A dwarf? Yep. He has dark vision. He does have Ask dark vision. Yeah. Ask him. Ask him what he sees. <laughs> if yeah. Gawain doesn't. Amir. I need your help because I don't think he does. Hey, he comes over to your side and kind of like <laughs> looks around. What do you see? There's a creature. He looks there's down and goes, it. "By my beard, you fucking kobold!" Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Permission to board. <laughs> Please, it's very scary. <laughs> And you hear, up, you yeah. hear kind of like, like a <laughs> of the dog. Oh, oh baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking metal. <laughs> yes. Thank you, dog. Let's go, Sir Demetrius and drop for this for you. This is the yeah. and, and we're still missing the wizard, though. Yeah, like, oh, this poor ghost. We're still missing the wizard. She's fine. He's an old fuck with so much wisdom and I don't give a damn energy that he could survive Vasilius coming down here and fucking ruining all of us. He would be the last man. <laughs> yeah. Just just hold on. It's just that I'm still yeah, standing after that's all that's this time. Unda. Unda, yeah. Unda, he'd Unda. Be Unda is the last man standing at the end of Ethos. <laughs> he is the last. <laughs> 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 
the final defense. That would be that's <laughs> such a cool title for a story. <laughs> the last man standing, like the last man standing at the end of Ethos, and it's just a fucking story about a senile old wizard <laughs> who just hasn't fucking died. Yeah, he just uses man. That's so funny. He's uh, could we he's ever a human, human, right? He was a human. Mm-hmm. I was about to say human wizard. Yeah, man. Hey, who's played Undertale? Come on, yeah. the the the, the, ter- the human spirit and the determination of the human. Oh my god, what is, what was that fucking um, trend on TikTok where it was the the um, um like undying or unsomething something yeah. of the human spirit, indomitable. Human yes, spirit. the indomitable human, human will yeah, or the, human spirit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, the 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 like the will of the indomitable human spirit. Indomitable will, will. indomitable will of the human spirit. Yeah, that's what it yeah. is. Yeah! Oh, that's, that's him. <laughs> that's him. He, it, okay. he is him. So yeah, you're able to spot um, <laughs> Sir Demetrius Andromeda's Borealis at 13 and his trusty Mastiff Steed Gabriel. Um, you're able to, with the help of Amir, get them onto the deck of the ship. Um, you can see they're a bit worse for wear, but are alive. And you just see like, as he like, gets onto the ship and and the dog is kind of like pulled up onto the deck um he just like runs over to you and like just yanks your hand and just starts shaking he just oh thank you thank you you who knows the word of grandmaster they'll feel this (laughs) and then after he's done he just hugs your leg (laughs) uh uh, good morning coffee Uh, what is Uh oh Coffee. Energy, Coffee. En- energy by Coffee? the gods. The energy of the gods should say it. It's a energy supplement. Energy. It's caffeinated. Caffeinated. That's not I... a word in this universe. Hold on a minute. It's energizing. <laughs> I like energy. Get moving. Yeah, if you're sleepy, it'll perk you right up. I'm very sleepy. All right. He right. should probably sleep. Oh, We've been when awake. Have you slept? Um, Gabriel, what time is this? What time? Ah, is? yeah. <laughs> uh, last time on the ship. Good boy. Last time on ship. Is that when you last slept? Yes. Mm. No, you don't need coffee. You need sleep. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As he still grabbed onto Dara's leg, just yeah, like, he like slumped over, and now he's just. God damn it! Fuck you, Amir! Amir, help! <sighs> Amir, Amir, help! Hey, I got that. He like puts the rifle down and just like picks him up by his like scruff, <laughs> and oh. this thing is just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This thing? <laughs> <laughs> like a cat just takes him downstairs. <laughs> that seems wrong, but it's also kind of funny. This it's happened, it's happened before. Just, the, the poor dog. A dog sleep. Oh. That thing is curled up on the deck and just... <clears throat> Yeah, he's on. Yeah, he, good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. I'm so happy to I never thought I'd say that, but <laughs> I couldn't care less about the kobold, but the dog. Killing a good dog is fucking criminal. Yeah, mm-hmm. by proxy, I care about him as well, but... Mm-hmm. I'll just take care of the dog, it's the fine. Dog is Very good for sure. The dog is ours. So we're now. still missing the wizard, and we're missing Overborn. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. and as you're looking out, though, kind of like scanning, you can see that bipedal parasite creature i'm standing off um off in the distance and you can see just kind of like it's like glowing eyes just staring at you how far is it we'll say it's maybe about like 300 feet away and it's just its eyes that you kind of see as the sun begins to illuminate the sky you can see like its outline like its silhouette but clearly, it's red beaming eyes just. It's getting into dawn time. Yeah. <laughs> the sun dawn. is beginning to wax at this point. Thank you. I'm learning. Well, that's great. Okay. 
at this point in time. The rest of you would be able to wake up and everyone gets a long rest. He has uh, awakened just, before you and okay. he is Coffee. getting all of his clothes and gear ready t- to start the day. Okay. Oh, it up with making some? My Cobalt. side feel warm oh, like he back. just he's back. woke up now that Same as the dog. Ago. No, what? he's been awake for a little bit. The dog. The dog. Is the dog okay? Oh, yes. The dog and Demetrius, the thirteenth, the, the third, the thirteenth. Fuck. That dude is still asleep, by the way. Demetrius, Wait, <clears throat> Demetrius and Romulus Borealis, the thirteenth. Anybody got any more information about the Docus? Somebody get questions. Um, I have heard him speak a lot. When it comes to understanding exactly what he's been saying, yeah. not likely. We've but, been there yeah. before. So I'll hide my ass off and I'm gonna get caught eventually. That is giving the mad scientist. Trust me, you will not. Oh, all right. He is a useful smart enough to live and to see through is. battle. The fact that he's here is impressive. I have. N- I'm surprised to see him here. Yes. Survival instinct. Are ten tell- out of ten. Are you telling everything me that, else that mm. the, the tiny the tiny one survived? Yes, Sir Demetrius. To be fair, the he did have his dog with him, and that I don't know how that thing is alive. Trust me, I've seen it gone through everything. The dog. The dog. He's a good boy. That's why. Oh, he's a good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. That thing is unreal. I have no idea. It's because Gabriel's the best boy. Life I've... energy. No, oh, uh, it, it's probably still there. Yeah. Um, you want to know about it? Just, uh, just get a read on him. Yeah, I'm curious. I mean, if anything, I've uh, that I've seen that yeah. dogs drink alcohol. Hard alcohol. Oh, and that's it, not abnormal. Not be affected. Oh, um, that's not right. No, typically affected, but yeah. I'm gonna say I, I know a guy who fed yeah. his, dr- can, gave can, his dog beer. Fun. Can we can that's we get a read on Gabriel? Yeah. 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 How's, the, how's the best boy doing? Yeah. Oh my God, guys! I'm not gonna question. The, Even if it's not of a dog, month? I don't give a shit. It is. Is it the first of the new month, guys? Oh, I think it is. Guys, we made it through a whole fucking month. Did we make it through a whole fucking month? Fucking month? Because I think there's only 30 days in practice, right? It doesn't go to 31. I have a calendar. I was going to say, I think I thought Praxis is 31. Fuck! <laughs> you yeah. God damn it. Still in practice, bitches. This fucking month. 31st of practice. I got to read on the dog? Or... Yes, please. Yeah. If that doesn't cost well, you. No, it doesn't cost me anything. Um, yeah, it, it either has... It either just has a metric crap ton or it's hanging on by a thread, but here it goes. Dog it's, it's, a, it's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more difficult in this climate. Then? I was able to pull it off you last You're trying night. to sense dog? Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious. Even though the dog is like right there. It roll, seems I, weird. I just want to get a... Roll it. Yeah, go ahead and roll for dog. Uh, aura <laughs> check. Dog aura check. Aura check in the dog. That's, that's cautious. Remember, it's a, remember it's, a plus it's a plus 10. It's a plus 10. Oh yeah, it is a plus 10 because it can be with my son and I had a good sleep. Check. Plus 10. It's a plus 10. In dog. In. Plus 10 healing potion. Because he's the That's still pretty damn good. Yeah, so 15 plus 10. 15 on the die. Yeah. yeah, plus 10 for dog, sure. 25. <laughs> I mean, that would have been a 18. That's basically a 25. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> sure. What are these numbers? Sure. Yeah, no, no, 18 is 18 basically equals 25. 25. Got yeah, it. yeah. Okay, sure. Um, Just keep that in mind for later. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> what is dog? Is dog dog or is dog not? 
Is dog, is dog alive dog. or is dog undead? Dog squared. I think Whoa. dog is dog squared. He's extra dog. What what breed of dog? It's like when you go to Costco Big. and you get one of the Costco <laughs> dogs, and instead of the dog fitting into the butt all the way, it kind of extends off the edge. You know, I mean, that's 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 dog Ultimate squared. Dog. Is dog extended or is dog short? <laughs> Long dog. It, what, what type of dog are we talking about, dog? I mean, you know, it's a mastiff. We're talking yeah, about a hot dog. Thing. We're talking about golden retriever, black lab, it's a, truckle it's lab. A mast- it's a mastiff. We've no, hold on, no, don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry, no, 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 no. Let him speak. My light doesn't tell what breed it is because breed names are just like people concepts. <laughs> I think we broke it. Border collies. <laughs> <laughs> and I rest. Shit Shitsu. <laughs> I'm shit so shit. Now, <laughs> welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everyone. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Every new welcome back is a new timeline. So, <laughs> so we have to record a new session. We're all the way back to the beginning. Uh, Are we ready for another five hours? No. no. Uh, yes. So if we fuck up five. and we make irreparable mistakes, we can just go back to one of the welcome grounds. Yeah, we delete. Day. We delete so, the previous so, timeline and. Start a new this one. is okay. the dog timeline where we just forget our fucking. Oh god damn it! <laughs> we get the dog, the dog ending. Yes, I love the dog ending. We all of a sudden it's dog D and D. Yep. Okay. No. Anyway, and so what's up with the fucking dog? Yeah, yeah. what's up with right. the dog? Fifteen dog. on the die. All that dog. is to say, what's up with the dog? Yeah, okay, with the twenty. What's, what's up, dog? Twenty-five so. on a die. So eighteen without dog, twenty-five with dog. <laughs> Bends the rules. That, that motherfucker went to Costco. Yes. <laughs> he got one of them Costco dogs. Yeah. What the fuck is a Costco dog? <laughs> <laughs> I left a Costco hot dog in the fridge at work. <laughs> 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 Oh, this pack of dog and Costco <laughs> led to I left hot dog, Costco hot dog in fridge. Yeah. Oh. Work fridge, no less. Oh, my buddy. manager bought it for me. I love oh. how that came full circle. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. I want to get a life ring on a hot dog. <laughs> it is yeah. a hot dog. Ladies and gentlemen, dead dog. <laughs> All right. Okay, back to just getting to read on the dog's energy. <laughs> Big or small? It, does he have just a shit ton of life energy, or is he hanging on by a thread? Oh, I see what you're trying is, to do. Okay, because he's endured so much shit, he's seen more. Is he giving God aura or dog aura? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you extend your energy out to this dog. The golden light swirls around him, and stat blocks begin to emerge. And you see, he's at full HP, full mana, full armor. Period. Yeah. He's Jay Chun. So he's, yeah. A, a dog is dog. <laughs> dog is. Dog and he's is sleeping. Dog. Dog. He's ready In to fact, go. he's regaining hearts on his stack block as he's sleeping. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Is there he's any. Just, he's just a good is there You see a, a cartoon cloud bubble begin to form and it's just meat. But he's, he's just a boy. He's just a boy. Doing good. He's great even. He's a, he's a great boy. He's all right. He's just I'm, a qu- question. He's, he's just dog. a dog. His, not yeah, his not life undead. Is kind of not off the charts. Oh. All right. He's doesn't make any goddamn him. sense, but I'll take it. That's a good boy right there. That, yeah, this is the goodest boy. Health bar begins one. to extend even further. Boss music begins to play. Ah, it's just dog. It's dog. Goodest of boys. Yep. <laughs> Huh. In huh? fact, that that life bar just keeps on extending. Stop there, we'll get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the final battle. Miyazaki, no. <laughs> please, please, I have a family. <laughs> I have a son. So, dog is dog. <laughs> they have a son. <laughs> dog is dog. So, uh, coffee. Yeah. How's that Coffee. Along? This is done. Oh my god, thank you. The first uh, batch is at least. I don't have to make another, but. Uh, okay, I'll be fine. There's two months in on the first batch. I can wait. I think you need the coffee. I know. You don't like coffee. 
as you guys are like standing around discussing this, a hand just appears and Vicky just grabs a mug of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them do that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I could, I could go, I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm gonna bank another badge. Wonderful. You, okay. you give her. You guys go. spend you some sure? time uh, making coffee, making sure everyone's one, energized and ready to go. Present. No. Uh, no. Fucking, I'll give everyone five temp HP points for coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Energize points. Do we, do you, is there anything to put in it? Cream, what? sugar. <laughs> like sweat. The, like the sugar cubes? Spice. No, I didn't bring sugar cubes. Oh. Do we have anything? What does do I got milk? Do have milk? I'm asking if anybody has milk. Does anybody have milk? No. I didn't think so. Oh. Does anybody have dragon sugar spice. or anything? I still have the dragon spice. Dragon That's spice. terrible. I, have, I, have, no. I have vodka. Uh-uh. No. Does anybody have anything they can I think about anybody it? Anybody got stuff for tea? Dark. All right. Yeah. Anybody Yay. got stuff for tea? This will either be the best or the worst idea they'll have all day so Wait, far. I just want no. you, all right. Do you like tea or coffee better? Hmm. I'm trying to find sugar or man. We don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you making tea? No. Oh, it's coffee today. Know. I'm more of a coffee person myself. Uh, I could you? crush a good berry. No, it's fine. That's so much effort. Yeah, it is. Does anybody have a singular sugar cube? I'm saying that to the whole fucking ship. Anybody have one cube? Please. I would be any sweetener. Uh, fresh oh, out of God. sugar cubes, actually. I, I would do anything for a cube <laughs> right now. Whoa. Please. Oh, should we leave the room? No, we're uh, we're on a just, well, deck. I just need to know. Should we go- Should we just all just turn around? <laughs> no, we should just, just give up on the coffee. No, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just seeing what my options are right now. None. You can put Black or room. none. Oof. I. I know. Tough bargain. You want to roll investigation to see if you can go find a cube of sugar on the ship. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> go That's ahead and roll. The deadliest sugar cube you're ever gonna eat. <laughs> sugar is immortal. La cocaine. <laughs> huh? It's just cocaine. The cube for I'm like cocaine. Just sitting there like. Do we tell him again? <laughs> oh, please don't. Please no. Do I? Roll for coke. Fuck! <laughs> so. Sorry, DC was 25 and you don't have dog. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> I got that anyway. Dog. I got that I dog have, in me. So I, I will really nice make it up, clean up the final batch of coffee. We're good. <sighs> Attach that shit to my back like a fucking sand and get ready to go. Fuck yeah. I also grabbed a cup of coffee yeah, and we'll just... Yeah, yeah, like I said, I made, made the batch, gave it out. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just ready for the day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just excited. I mean, to be <laughs> sure. Sorry, I just woke up. We have to be energized <laughs> for our hunt for sin. Yes. Uh, Is Red Eyes still staring? It was. Or has it been? Perception check. When did he okay. fuck off? Nope. Not That's there. A, not dog shit. Yeah. Sub 10. Which is hard to do. Not there. Alright. I hate that. Well, I mean, me rolling a 9 on the die really isn't indicative of shit. Yeah. Yeah. So you might still be there just in a different spot that is harder to see. Can I um, attempt to use uh, sense life energy to detect void? Bipedal void? You could certainly try. You're looking for your son to... or looking oh. for the bipedal bitch? The bipedal. I wonder if sure. they even give off any life energy. Oh, no. Wait, no, I was thinking of uh, the brother shit. Oh. Huh? Brother. Oh, the sister. oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the sister? No, oh, no. The brother. The brother. Oh, oh, you're captured by sister. Oh, your oh. is still going off too. Oh, it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. So, I don't think it. Cool. It's already on. Yeah, you got a compass. Cool. Yeah. Holding in. 
Well, where are we going next? We are going... So it's it's essentially you're going past the ship. So the direction that you kept going is where you're still going. Yeah. Anyway, just, um, we just continue this path? Now that everyone's up, it's up to go bold which we get to. I did see it staring at us again. Ah. Oh, boy. No. Okay. So I did kind of give him like a death promise on accident. You what? So I don't. Why know. are you promising death to horrible monsters? I don't, well, hey, say that again. Think, say that again, but think while you say it. Oh, I did. Again. Oh no, I know what you're do getting it at. Again. It does not mean that I want to kill it. Well, yeah, I mean, I want to do that. I mean, I mean, it's probably best for the like, not ecosystem. Hmm? It's a parasite, you know. It's the, the yeah. you know. Um, May I make a perception check for bipedal bitch? Sure. I just got mad. No. Fair. And no. I just kind of just Twelve. Do, do not see him. But I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so hey, maybe, maybe it perceived <laughs> that, and it was like you, and now it's like pissed off or whatever. Like, I don't know. I really hope you haven't gotten a fucking blood feud with a goddamn. With and a goddamn thing we'll that can't even see. bleed. We will have to see. We will have to see. It's a figurative speech. <laughs> okay, uh, so are should we the, like skadoodling? We or should, we, skadoodle. We should yeah. skadoodle. I don't like being Thank here. Thank you for validating what I just said. I appreciate it. <laughs> that, was, that felt nice. Okay, so. I'm never doing that again. Is that so? I'm just gonna let you guys make the decisions today. Your sarcasm? Was there sarcasm? Me saying we should skadoodle was not. Them asking if it was (laughs) saying that it was a. Are we going yes or no? We should go. Yes! The coffee hasn't worked. Let's fucking go. Someone someone grab the cobalt. Fuck! Uh, Good morning. Can someone grab I, a cobalt and yeah. just stick them on the gods above? Yeah, I'll just attach <laughs> the it to the backpack of all the random shit. <laughs> it's Do like you still a little baby carrier just? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him carry his backpack. Do we have the cross? We're not I putting do. the cobalt on the cross. <laughs> I do the, still have the cross. Put the, 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 the cobalt on the cross. You I am not crucifying now. the cobalt. <laughs> put the cobalt on the cross. The cobalt no. is not Jesus. He has not saved us from our sins. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Ambrose did. Be funny. Please, can we put them on the cross? You're lucky Jesus doesn't exist in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Lego Batman, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna att- grab by scruff of neck and like clip a hook on his shirt or something and just attach to it. <laughs> I wish I wish I was still my air genasi monk that I could just cast levitate and then tie strings to it and just carry more on like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty great. Like That's so funny. Because I remember, yeah. I remember I remember the fucking dungeon crawl with Bumblebee. Oh my god. Okay, so um, as you guys begin to move the dog would <coughs> awake and I'm help. sorry, I can't carry it too. I can. I can. <laughs> I agree. Can I give him good dog? Of course. I will just. <gasps> no, you're not. Oh, you sounded so excited. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is the to... one good thing we have. <laughs> I want the the to... one pure good yeah, thing you have. I wish there was five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, guy. Oh, I'm just like. Who's a good boy? Who's a good, a good boy? And I just... Scrub- yeah. I oh, he's be. loving it. I he's loving it. Know. But we do need to go. I, I take out some meat from my rations. I just... Good. Yeah. 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 You yeah. want it? Yeah. You want it? Yeah. 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 Good boy. A good boy. His right. tail just mock five. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Exquisite. Less Fucking move. Come on. Let's get Come going. On, buddy. All right. Very good. You guys. I'm becoming best friends with the dog. Hell yeah. My backpack just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Coffee. There's a 
the coffee, kobold. I have the horn, I have a cross, I have a kobold. <laughs> you have the crucifix. I have many Jesus. pots and pans. So oh my god, what did you do? Oh, 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 just... <laughs> what did you become a senshi? Yeah. That's yeah. a fucking Oh my problem. god, senshi IRL. Yeah, Jesus. They're just Howl's moving castle at this point. Howl's moving castle, yeah. Alright, let's get a move on. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Let's go, go, go. I'm already down the fucking street. <laughs> Coffee. Whatever. <laughs> Just mirage. Yeah. Just, you're like speed walking like those old ladies in the mall in yeah. the morning. You're just, <laughs> I'm still Fuck drinking you, the so coffee right. in, very, so, in a yeah. very upset manner. Yeah. I'm grateful, but I'm upset. I'm like, this isn't yeah. what I want. I and I'm like, so right. just but down it. it. Just down it. Go, go, uh, go, go, uh, uh, like that. Suck it up. Down it. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Stop being a pussy. Hmm. All right. So we go beyond this ship, correct, into the depths of hell. Okay. Woo! Huzzah. As you guys uh, continue moving on, um, notes. So many notes. Um, your compass would begin to like. Um, like shift ever so slightly directing you in the ways that you're supposed to be going. Um, you travel for a few hours um, before in the far distance, you would see this dome like structure. Um, you can see that parts of this dome um, are like destroyed. Um, Yes. A dome-like structure? Yeah, like a big, we're talking almost almost like like stadium-sized dome. It's big. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's big. Does um, it look natural? It does. Okay. It's made of the same material. Um, some of the like pieces of this dome are uh, destroyed, so there's like pieces that are missing from it. Mm-hmm. So, um, you guys kind of like all look out to this dome structure when all of a sudden um, lights begin to flash. And all of a sudden you seem like red arcs of electricity um, appear before a red beam of light just out from the dome uh, piercing through the clouds, kind of parting them. And now like all the clouds begin to turn this blood red color. Um, so now it's like this dark blood red uh, surrounding you. Um, and this kind of like force of the energy kind of like creates this wind pressure that blows you back ever so slightly. Um, kind of have to like cover your face. And I think that's where we're going to end this session. Ah! It's a good place to end it. I think so. And so, the Rift Seekers learn more about Valen and his crew. And the noble Sir Demetrius Andromedus Borelius XIII makes his valiant return. The Rift Seekers slept in the wrecked skyship and defended themselves against a horde of the Esgosi parasites. Now, a blood red beam has been shot into the sky, and Sin begins her ritual to retrieve the item she has come to claim. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend. And goodbye for now.